Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Reactor. Sephiroth. Genova. Sephiroth. Nibelheim. Sephiroth. Soldier. Sephiroth. 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 Me? I really hope this video doesn't get copyrighted. Hey, so a few months ago, I played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth in a total of like seven to eight days. <laughs> slept in eight days. Good game. Confusing story, cool boss fights, and Sephiroth. Sephiroth. I had all of this recording from my playthrough, and I figured instead of making multiple gameplay videos, I decided to put this whole experience into one giant three hour and a half long video. I don't know why I did this though. I thought my computer was going to explode from trying to render this. But once this is posted, I won't have to think about this game ever again, until, like, part 3 comes out. I got back into Elden Ring anyways, and I wish to return to my one true love back in the lands between. Bail! Vile Bail! But I still wanted to post a video about my second favorite game of 2024. I wanted to post my time with this game because I really enjoyed it, and there are a lot of moments that I thought were funny, so I couldn't let almost 100 gigabytes of footage go to waste. Seriously, I didn't want all of this recording to go to waste, so I kind of needed to make this video. But anyways, let me say that I never actually played the original Final Fantasy VII before. I know some things, character moments, character names, but I really have no idea how the story goes. I played FF7 Remake, but that's basically just part one of this trilogy. I thought it was cool but I didn't know at the time that the remake was only like the first seven to six hours of the original game and that game truly starts once you leave Midgar. This almost feels like a reverse Hobbit situation but instead of the first game being like 80 to 90 percent of the story it's only like 20 percent. I mean the original game did have three discs so this isn't too different. It's just spread out between like four to five years but like for the newcomers it's gonna feel weird because anyone who didn't play the original and only played the remake they were definitely confused when we got to the ending because it didn't really explain much and that kind of follows through into the second game as well. I mean Rebirth is a big game still and there is a lot explained but even then when we get to the end of the game there's still a lot of questions that are brought up. And that's because Remake was just so short and only had like so little to tell. It told a lot but it still was a little in the grand scheme of things. Final Fantasy 7 Remake isn't even big enough to be considered a part one and Rebirth feels like the rest of part one and part two all in one. I'm not sure how they're gonna go about with part three because it feels like they're gonna have to jam so much into just one final game because they are trying to redo big moments from the original game but also add new concepts as well with the time altering ghost and the alternate realities like this isn't a remake anymore of the original game this trilogy is almost a sequel to the original game god this story is gonna give me a headache isn't it final fantasy 7 um rehashing the past with a three disc set all jokes aside though i think these games are really good and i can't wait for part three if you manage to pull through and watch till the end of the video i I give my thoughts on the game and my overall enjoyment of it. So stick around if you want to hear a very subpar review of FF7 Rebirth. Okay, I'm done talking. Enjoy the movie. All right. Before we start the game, I just want to ask everyone who has clicked on this video, a lot of us are on the same page, right? Like, we all know where this game is going to end, right? Because it's going to be a cliffhanger, and it's going to end on uh, that moment in particular. Again, I'm not going to say what that moment is, but if you know, you know. You're going to catch me, Ron. God, do you hear that music? That beautiful, perfectly arranged orchestral instrumental is just beauty to my ears. I need everybody in unison to say thank you Nobu Umatsu. You're welcome. All right, what happened? What do we miss? Wait, what? The fuck? The game just started and I'm already confused as fuck. I have the idea that this is maybe an alternate timeline, but that's as far as I can go here. I don't know why everyone is dead or unconscious. Hey, Earth, what's up? I don't think she can hear you from all the way down there, dude. Oh yeah, get him. Get him, Dougie. Get him, Red 13 or Red X or... What's his name again? I forgot. Oh, oh, is that gameplay? Okay, cool. Hell yeah. What the hell even is... What am I playing? He's got a buster sword. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> now this is how to fight. Oh, yeah, he's putting his foot into it. Yeah! Oh, I love playing as Zach already. Heads up, this is so messed up. Gungar. Okay, cool, interesting intro that I really don't understand. But let's see what happens next. Hey, rain it in. Oh my god, Cloud, look behind you! It's Sephiroth! Be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs. Wait, Turks? You mean, you mean Turk, Turkish? 
Damn, Cloud, you suck. Wait in the truck. No way, I got this. No, the fuck you don't. He's got this. <laughs> oh, we're starting off a Sephiroth. Okay, this is this is fun. This is probably the only Sephiroth gameplay we're gonna get. Dudes will see a ten-foot-long katana and go, "Hell yeah." Me? I am, dudes. Ah, uh, finally! Exploring a location that's not Midgar. I mean, I know it's the intro of the game, but it's gonna be cool to explore this little town. Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh... Cloud looks so uncomfortable. So how do you start a conversation right? like that? How does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. What the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down! You went into my room? I did. <laughs> I did. You, you sound so guilty. Stuff? No, 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 no. I, 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 no, 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 no. I'm good. If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Inspect pianos you encounter to start tickling the ivories and to perform pieces using sheet music. Did you actually play? It? Oh shit! You could play the piano in this game. I hope it's not like the wheel shit from Last of Us Part Two. God damn it! It's the wheels. Where'd you learn to do that? The psych hey, ward. You, you yeah, I'ma do it. It's probably stuff. funny. I know I shouldn't have. Oh no, fuck that. Cloud just, Cloud just looks creepy. <laughs> fuck that. Cloud! You asshole! <laughs> Never mind, it was funny! Richard Sanga, a humble traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hey Zangon, quick question. How many hours was Aaron Ralton stuck in that canyon back in 2003? 128! Close, it was 127. Big day tomorrow. You should get some rest. Holy shit, can you be any I... more awkward? Dad! Tifa. Why is everyone dressed so western? Right. What the hell is this? This is Texas. Which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff. That's Slow down, so cool. Tifa, Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes, give it all here. Give me that good music. Oh, let it course through my veins. I go back to the fun now. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. Listen, Tifa, I played God of War. I know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> Can't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. <laughs> and the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Cloud, the gaslighting king. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? I heard this game takes around 100 hours to complete. Is it because of this? Is this why the game is over 100 hours? Hey, Square Enix, you know this is cheating, right? This shit is so stupid! I hate it so much! Oh my god, go faster, please! Fuck you! <laughs> Oh, finally. An actual boss fight to clean my palate. Uh, just swap around like that? Then we're just gonna go like that? Then we're just gonna, you know, go up a BAM! <laughs> oh man, I love the combat of this game. I Sephiroth, help! Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Boosh. What's next, buddy? Come on, bring it, bring it! Oh, look! Oh, 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 oh look it! Look at it go! Oh! The dream team! The dream duo, baby! You're practically panting. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a puppy. What the fuck? Whoa. That was okay, well, whatever. This this is cool! This is so cool! Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah, Sephiroth, the hero. Hell yeah. Nice work. Okay, now let's do that slow QTE where we slowly high five each other. Wow. Go out and shut off the valve. I guess we did get a really slow QTE. Can I go back to the boss fight? Hey, Sephiroth. What you reading? The Bible. Oh shit. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Sephiroth's evil now. That was only a matter of time. Oh shit. Burning down the village. Oh, well, I mean, this was teased in the last game, so I guess I'm not too surprised. I think I saw a scene from it, like, a long time ago. Oh, look at that. A slow walking section. We all need one of those. I get it already. How much longer is this gonna take? Oh, sorry, Sephiroth. You're surrounded by a bunch of NPCs. There is no way you're gonna make it out of here alive. Do they have bullets in those guns? Are they just not gonna shoot him? Am I just gonna have to keep crawling until I eventually get to his feet and then he just walks away? I think that's what's gonna happen. That was it! That's what I fucking saw! Oh, that looks so fucking badass, bro. See, this is why I main him in Smash, okay? This is why I got him as a DLC. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. SpongeBob. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! See, even she's having a hard time following the story. Here. Look. At what? Hey, yo! How do you like them apples? Do you like apples? Ah, sorry, Cloud. I guess you woke up from a really good dream, my bad. A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's Blood? New minigame or something? You can now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players around the world and challenge them to matches. Uh, tutorial? I'm uh, okay. Hey, Red Doggy, or Red 13 is what I read. Even so, I owe you a debt. Until it's paid, I'm going to accompany you. Yes! Finally! He's probably the one character I've been most excited to, like, try with in combat. He just looks really dope. Oh, oh my god. Yes. I know these guys. I love them. I love them so much. Let's try out Queen's Blood. Looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. Let me introduce you to Nina, Master Ventriloquist. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are you? Talking a lot of shit for a little human there. Let me just humble you real quick and let me take your beautiful little cactor card. God fucking damn it. Do you like them apples? Do you like apples? Fuck Sephiroth, she's the final boss here. Maybe I just need to practice that Queen's Blood more. Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Call the cops? Oh god damn it. You know the drill! Fly these terrorists! Over a box fort? You made it. All in one piece? I get up for the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date. What? Hey, hey, Aerith, Aerith, stop it, stop it, please. Sorry, I chose Tifa, and I'm pretty sure Cloud chooses Tifa too, so you know what, I'm just gonna keep it that way. I don't care what type of lore is going into this shit. It's Tifa and Cloud all the way, baby. I thought Jesse was also gonna be like some weird love interest, and then she just got fucking killed off. You owe me a pe- Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I should have turned the brightness down. Oh my god, dude. Just look at it all. It's so green. Oh my god. They thought of this from this? Are you kidding me? A living, breathing planet. I'm excited. Okay, um, first on the list. I need to figure out a way on how to get around faster. Sorma, beware. Oh wait, wait, I've seen gameplay footage of Final Fantasy 15 and they were riding chocobos. Is that oh god, that's gonna be cool. So just give Phil the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! What did you just say, Tifa? The word. Oh hey, I remember you. What a pleasant surprise. A lot of people hate him for some reason. I don't really understand why. It's okay, I guess. Don't you? Yeah, I remember you, but 
I also want to be funny. Nope. Really? Not at all? Nope. It seems I didn't make as strong an impression as I thought. Nope, 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 nope. Though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. You will learn valuable information from them. Each tower covers a limited area. Climb them all and you will reveal the entire map. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. I see no changes. Okay, so there is a difference. It doesn't, like, expose the entire map. It just gives you, like, points of interest. All right, then, let's go back to Calm because I got some unfinished business I gotta do there. There is someone more evil out there than Sephiroth. Nay, nay. The ventriloquist. Please, dude, oh my fucking god, this took, like, three or four tries. One. We were... We beat her by one! I don't think there will be a... An opponent tougher than her. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious. Oh my god, she said game. take the L. Listen, Jesus, kid, Jesus Christ. What, what is this world? What is the language here? Now, why don't you show Bloody your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing parts with me, mister. Oh, well, that's adorable. Well, good luck with your future, kid. I hope I don't have to see you on the news killing your cousin with an axe in Atlanta. I'm Smash, and I couldn't. Really use your help. Oh, Vash, Truth like is, from Trigun. Ago, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. Now I feel like it. No. Nope. Don't you think I would if I could? God, I'm a shit player. Don't you get that? <laughs> oh my God. I take what I, I I take back what I said about the voice acting. It's freaking genius. Yeah, Ryan Chocobo is cool and all, but look at. Look at the way Red 13 sits on the Chocobo himself. This game is- this game might be a 10 out of 10 if I'm being honest. I gotcha, little buddy. Aww, that's, that's fucking cute, dude. What the hell? That's adorable. Huh? Is it supposed to be silent? Is my game glitching? Is, is there supposed to be dialogue here? Since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing Oh, uh, what? What the heck? The wait, 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 wait. Was the audio glitched or was the volume raised on her? Wait a minute, I can't tell. I, am I tripping? What the hell just happened? I mean, hi, Mai, but uh, you're talking a lot, so I, cool, I guess. Can I go back to the game? Jesus, there's a song for almost every situation in this game so far. Like, almost every new thing you're doing, there's like a new track. I found out that there's like over 200 songs in this game, and I'm very curious as to how many are gonna end up on my playlist after this. Moogles. Uh, pop inside a mushroom shaped mo mog stool? Mog? Mog? Mogging? Look, Maxine? Holy shit. Cloud, be prepared. Your chin's about to be sharper than diamonds at the e after this. What the? Oh god, I'm in hell. Or a Mario level. To our <laughs> what oh, the fuck? So sorry, hey, you look like a mix between cute but Actually, creepy. I, I, I don't find you comforting, dude. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, sorry. Am I being too mean? Am I, am I being too mean to the mo the moggles, moogles, the mogging, maxing moogles? Get in your cage, slaves. Get back to work. Listen, I'm only gonna be doing this for the XP and the skill points. That's pretty much it. Other than that, I really am not gonna return to these moogle toadstools. Not too upset about this, because nothing really happened here, but, I mean, I was gonna show off this cutscene of Sephiroth just showing up underwater with Cloud, but there's this annoying, popping, crackling noise that showed up during this cutscene, which pisses me off. Listen to it, it's so obnoxious. Fuck that, man. <gasps> oh my gosh! She's bald! Uh, uh, brightness. I we keep forgetting about it. Check it out. Oh god, it's the 13th Order. I never played Kingdom Hearts, by the way. I just know what they are. Just them? Guess so. Hmm? 
Lord of the Rings reference. Oh I think. God. I'm just gonna assume. He ain't coming back. Yeah, he probably got eaten actually. <laughs> they didn't care. The other dudes they don't give a fuck. They're too like out, out of their minds to even That's comprehend what's going you. on. Yeah, we did. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. It was. Oh my. Uh, oh my God. I I, I, I swear. In my lifetime, I've seen a dude who looks exactly like that. I'm, I'm from dead. Southern California, so I've probably seen dudes like this all around, like Los Angeles or no, some shit. But yeah, no, it's like it. there are dudes out there who look like that. So yeah. Good job, uh, Square Enix. You guys are they're pretty good with your character models. So fucking slow. Uh, 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 uh. What in the fuck? I am now a toad. This game is so silly. I love it. Oh, oh. I thought I could, like, sneak up behind them and just knock them out. What the? What? They're so scared. That's so funny. What I'm trying to say here is Why the fuck is this shit so goddamn loud? Help! Somebody please! Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna go to my room and take a nap. Help! Hey, it's Yuffie! Somebody! What the fuck? What, what is this game? Dolphin? Dolphin! Oh, holy fucking shit! I love this so much. We need to get a breathing again. Somebody, help! God. She's so cold. I'm busy swimming with a dolphin. Can y'all handle that yourselves? Don't just stand there. Help me. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <sighs> Thank God I played the DLC before this. Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? <laughs> Does everyone have super speed here in this game? I hope she joins soon because when I played the DLC, she was overpowered as hell, so she could be a really good companion. Like here, look at this shit. She could just turn into a meat grinder. Hey, they did a really good job with the combat here. You guys are that avalanche splinter cell. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Excuse me, uh, You seen them lately? Who is that? Oh, hmm. oh, uh, uh, well, what? Thought it was someone else. Was that? No. Nope. Was that his real I'll voice? Here, officer. That. Well, that'd be funny. <laughs> Come on, what? guys. What? Hey. Why is everyone meeting in Cloud's room like as a Go Day 13 from Bleach? I know you're in there, my friend. You oh my you god, away, thank you. Oh, I've been waiting for his return. Make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? I think he's an original character, like he wasn't in the original game. Yeah. Since certainly it makes the heart grow fonder. Roche. His name was Roche. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Still playing hard to get it. Why are you extra you, flirty? Go oh my goodness, you fruity you. little devil. You Cloud, he wants you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come out and say it. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yeah, sure. Finally got to the uh, dog quest line with the funky little music. This is tight. God man, what other type of music did they have in this game? Oh my god, and you got another battle track. This is so sick, dude. The music is just really good in this game. It's just really freaking good. A fisherman's only child. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. Yeah, you did. Sorry, old man, but you'll never understand. No, he won't. 
My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. You think you're able to come to a compromise with your enemy through a card game? Have you never heard of Uno? The lives that have been destroyed by Uno? If anything, this will cause more wars. Anyways, on a side note, I'm fully addicted to Queen's Blood. This game is so fucking good! Also, they did not skip on the music for this minigame, because my goodness. This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. Oh. You okay? Yeah, maybe I should stop playing you Queen's Blood. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth. Thank you for this experience. I can't hear you over the sound of the triumphant horns. Investigation. One moment. That is Fort, Fort Condor. Condor huh? That was. I bad. thought this was really fun this in the DLC of like the remake. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty fun mini game. Wait, Tifa, don't! <sighs> oh, oh, God damn it! We're getting Jumanji. We're getting Jumanji, everybody. Okay. Reinforcements are here. We're saved. Oh my fucking god. What in the clever hell is going on here? That's, that's clever. And why are we okay. like this? Watch out for those pointy bits! <laughs> okay, so obviously this isn't as detailed as the DLC, but it's uh I don't know, it's it's alright I guess. I miss I wish I had what they had, what the other side had, like all their, you know abilities and their little pawns and stuff that's whatever i guess yeah man you hang on to this just make sure to keep it safe all right yeah sure no problem barrett i'm good at keeping things safe oh god i'm going through a wormhole an untethered soul well now who is this um six-armed figure hello there friend are you friend the singular item that you now hold is possessed of a power beyond your can. You will deliver it unto me. Don't care. Ah. Bring me. Huh? What the fuck just happened? Well, now I want to see more of him. He is super silly. I love super silly people and characters. Oh, well, I remember you. I don't like you. You were rude as shit back to Yuffie in the DLC. What's your deal? And why are you dressed like a five-year-old? That's just weird. Uh, what are you talking about? This isn't weird. It's super cute. Super cute? More like super lame. I just don't like Kyrie. Don't She's kind of annoying. Away. Please, Cloud. You've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. Well, the game will so give me XP yourself. and money, so it's not You're like I have a choice. Just... Wait, oh, I just realized Kyrie has her own song. How many songs are in this game? I read it was 250. Is it more than that? Okay, frog side quest. Uh, hello? Holy hey, fucking shit, it's doing? Luffy! Make sure to uh, play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, everybody. We got frog combat. And frog fall guys. Or frog guys. Since it's uh, frogs instead of little dudes. I never played Fall Guys. Wee! Wee! Go free, Willy! Wait, no, that's that's the that's the the killer will. That, that that that's not a dolphin. Sorry. You guys are just not suspicious whatsoever of a guy with a giant sword, a dude with a gun for a hand, and a a dog with a flaming tail. A new president in person. They really don't give a fuck. Okay. Ah, God damn it! Not another one of these. I suck at these. Concentrate. Fuck. I'm not laughing, Trooper. <laughs> I am doing I'm doing terribly right now, bro. They would have kicked me out of the Marines in about like a week. That was a disgrace! Get by the wall, soldier! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Holy shit! Bald bar! 
this game, man. I am... I am so confuzzled. Can any Final Fantasy VII, like, enthusiast or purist tell me if this was in the original game or not? My god, this is, this is insane. Our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to Midgar's mobile unit. Huzzah! Aw, oh, man, that sucks. I put a lot of work into pressing all those four buttons. I mean, it was fun, but uh, uh, I, I guess. Uh, good job, Roche. Uh, good job, Roche. Uh, you know, good game. Ah, oh, finally, I get to play as a fun character. Ah, oh, fuck, I wanted to screenshot that. Okay, if you didn't play the first game, you are gonna be totally lost on who the hell that was. What the fuck? Oh wait, fuck yes, yes, we're gonna kill the president! Political assassination! What the fuck, Barrett? Come on, man, we were, we were, we were so close! You're so close. Come on. Ah, uh, freaking sucks. Oh, uh, thanks for the sword, guys. Okay, well, I'm not really your captain, so go now. Shoot. Uh, I really don't have any reason to give orders. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar's Seventh Infantry never leaves a man behind. Oh God damn it, man! No, please, please! I don't want to have you guys be in danger. You guys are just are just dudes. Potential threat. And we must treat them as such. Damn, man. Uh, Fuck, this is feeling like Halo. The potions that I should be using for my companions, the friends that I actually have in this game, I'm using on a bunch of soldiers that I'm only gonna see for this one portion of this chapter. And you know what? I don't regret it. I hope these guys live to see another day. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> You really ought to have told me you wanted to join the parade, my friend. The mobile unit would have loved to have you. Judging from the way you look at Cloud, there's something else you would love to have. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! Oh, I already know I'm gonna fucking love this song. Actors! To your marks! He's the best character in this entire game. I read somewhere that apparently a part of Roche's lore is that he won't take any missions unless he has his motorcycle with him. I also saw on Twitter that Roche is basically the equivalent of a horse girl, but his horse is a motorcycle instead. <laughs> Rules of nature. <laughs> Sorry. Stronger and faster with every lap. That's your cue to exit. I'll be right behind you. Oh my! Whoa. Okay. Uh. Wow. Roche actually. Uh. I. Th I think he actually has feelings for Cloud. I'm not even kidding here. Fair enough, fair enough. Your your boss fight was awesome. Also, all the soldiers are alive, so yeah, I got two things done right. All right, time to get the fuck out of here. Quick, googly moogly. All right, chapter five, and uh, by the looks of it, it looks like we're on Final Fantasy VII's version of the Costa Concordia, so let's count how long it takes before this uh, boat smashes into an island. Attention passengers. The Queen's Blood Tournament will be starting shortly. This Ooh. is your last chance to sign up. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a lot of fun. Today's competition will take ashore a trophy as well as a fabulous prize. I don't care about the prize. I just want to play Queen's Blood. No <laughs> that's such a fun card no game. Huh? Is this an important character? Am I supposed to know who this is? So, you playing? I'm nice. What do you want? Uh, what the what and the fuck? See you around. She's rude. She must be from New York. Currently on round three, scouring for my next victim. Oh, for the love of. Oh, it's it's her. Surely you have. Hello there, Miss Handjob Lady. Uh, we meet again. Fuck on my neck. Fuck on my neck. Fuck on my neck. Would you like to play a match with me? You're in this too. Oh man, I gotta play a match against the autistic kid. I'm gonna lose. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. This kid wouldn't let up, man. He just kept throwing a curveball after curveball. So you're the one to beat. The one to lose to. I don't care, okay? Can we just play the game already? I want to get this over with. Wait, no, I fucked up. I need to re redo this. Wait, no, I completely fucked up this one. Please let this be over. I don't know how long it's been. It's been... It feels like it's been a half an hour already. Okay. I won. I won. No. There's no way I won. L plus ratio plus get a job plus you suck at Queen's blood plus you're broke plus soldiers first class for life plus womp womp Not so fast good captain I have to show my hand Oh my fucking goodness gracious red 13 <laughs> See, I love his character so much, dude. I I never played the original, but when I played the remake and I saw his character in the final chapter, I knew I knew I was gonna like him in the in part two. Though I am far from a humanoid, the illusion can be maintained with the aid of a little flamboyance. You know what? He's fucking right. Like, look at Roche. Take up the gauge. Down, boy. <laughs> <clears throat> and there you have it. Oh, I love that. I fucking love that. Look at Red in his little fuck ass walk. Look at him just tiptoeing along the fucking uh, ship floor. Sephiroth. Good to see you. I'm done taking your shit, Sephiroth. Now it's your final fantasy. Fuck yeah. Damn, man. Who knew Final Fantasy Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth 7 Rebirth would be so good? Oh my god. I remember you, but I don't remember you being voiced by fucking Yuri Lewenthal, bro. What the fuck? Johnny? Johnny? No, bro, that's that's Peter Parker. That's Spider-Man. Hey, Looking good. Hey, Aerith time. I am now a pretty girl here to do girly things like um take down corporations and save the planet. Yes, just girly things. Do it, Aerith. Take it. Take it. Take the fucking sword. Do it. Take it. Take it. Now, let's find us some resort wear. And then we can finally hit the beach. Yeah. <laughs> let's roll. Aw, that's cute. I mean, that's adorable, but also the way that mo the characters move is just so unnaturally funny. And then we'll finally hit the beach! Points upwards to the sky for some reason. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello, Tifa. There's a concert Oh, today. I just remembered who this guy was. He made Cloud dance at the Honeybee. Yeah, he's cool. However, without a pianist... There can be no concert. Oh, I should have fucking guessed that that piano thing at the beginning wasn't just for a little gag. We got like a piano puzzle side quest uh, mini game thing. Oh my. Oh god, no, please, no, not the hands thing again. These fingers. I can read them. Your fingers. You've played the piano before. That much is obvious. I guess you could say that. This it shouldn't be that hard. I'm a prodigy. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, not bad. Not bad. It took me like almost, you know, 13 minutes to do just to get an A rank. But hey, you know what? Uh, uh, the total score of 13,000, like perfectly. Perfect 13,000, okay? I think I did an incredible so job there. Alright, I did all of the, the activities and stuff. Beach hey, time. Hey. I'll, uh, got a lot of uh, great choices here. Only two choices. I mean, they look nice, but I wish there were more choices. I don't know. Maybe I should just go play The Sims. I'm just gonna say the outfit with the gray uh, button-up on the left looks better. But the swimsuit is gonna be better for Cloud and also for the thumbnail and the viewership. So I think we already know which choice we gotta make. See now this, this also looks really nice. The, the game should add more costumes, honestly, with like a free update, because like it's it's kinda cool to play dress up once in a while. Well, Red, how do we look? 
This game is stupid, silly, horny, emotional, weird, but it's it's cool. My goodness, what the fuck? How the hell is Cloud gonna react? Googly moogly. Something wrong? Something wrong? Cloud, don't let her fool you. Something wrong? No. Nothing. It's just something in the sun. Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on. Okay, okay, wrap it up, you crazy kids. Ah, uh, it's my arch nemesis, Hojo Mojo Jojo. <laughs> Robo Squid. Uh, what the what the fuck is wrong with Hojo, dude? This dude is like, he's he's beyond cartoonishly evil. He's just a fucking freak. Not cool, man. Not cool. Yeah, what Spider Man said. Oh my, oh my fucking god, dude! Stop looking at them like that. Oh, that's right, he doesn't have his sword. Wow, what a great alternative! How many materia can it hold? What? Ba -ba -ba! Let's see what you can do. I love the combat in this game, it's... Johnny? Johnny? No, don't! Johnny, no! Jo Johnny's? Johnny's no? What? What are you doing, Spider-Man? Oh, it's Yuffie's doing. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. We got uh, Miss Overpowered Ninja over here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Let him go. We've done enough. Why though? We can easily go after him right now. Who's gonna stop us? He is literally more than vulnerable. Now, eh, whatever. You know the story, I guess. Well. Guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, no fun ain't the word I'd use. Yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. I used the wheelie to run into a bunch of shit. <laughs> Alright, time to roll and get the fork out of here. Uh, hello? Aren't you all forgetting about someone? Nope. And... Action! Oh, is there intro? Yeah, uh, I, I saw this in the DLC. Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter, but... Who am I truly? I challenge you to a duel. If I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. No. Nope. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? Fuck off. Oh, it's like that, huh? Where's your pride? Your fighting spirit? <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid you're about to catch a beat down? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Seriously? <laughs> I mean, uh, we don't actually have to fight. Tactical retreat! <laughs> For real though, uh, she better join because she's literally probably the most powerful character in the game. So uh, yeah, just come back, dude. You're good. You're good. You can come with. I knew you'd say that. You won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuffie Kisura. Cool. Seven chapters in, and we finally got another party member. <laughs> okay, I mean, hey, uh, better late than never. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? Can it be Tifa? We've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. God, I, I think this game wants Cloud to like be with Aerith. I don't know. I don't know the story. Maybe that's just how it's supposed to go, but I don't know. Fuck, why am I worrying about the fucking, you know, relationships of like fake characters in a video game? Fuck, fuck, fuck! I gotta play more first-person shooters. Ah, oh, well, whatever. I did I did all right. Can you give me this stuffed Sephiroth plushie now? You become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! Good the fucking god, Aerith. Relax. It happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! She's gonna run out of oxygen, fall off the mountain, and fucking die. Get him. Yeah, get him! Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, I am really bad with Aerith. I I feel like I am playing her completely wrong. 
Oh, I'm back here again. Um, in the very linear part with no exploration. It's just Zack looking at the, 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 the crumbling world around him. What is this part? I mean, I'm pretty yeah. sure a lot of these will be right answered in. in part three, but right now there is just confusion, confusion, confusion. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. America has a fat law crisis. Oh, oh, there he goes. Whee! Splash. Hey. Cloud. Cloud, what the hell? Are you are you turning into one of Come those on. things? Is one of those um Mako infused dudes? That would suck. <laughs> I don't wanna do this no more. Hey there, bigger bird. You get away from those other littler birds. We have to help them. Whatever you want, mama. <laughs> And get the fuck out of here, Gerald. I don't want to see you attacking tiny little baby birds ever again with your stupid four wings. Hey, hey, hmm? check out its head. Does it oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, it looks like Cloud's hair. Why, why is Cloud oh, always cute. being, like, you know, compared with birds and stuff? Oh, I get it. He's bird-brained. Cloud's fucking stupid as shit. Well, Twitchy, that's natural. It's just old man Mountain showing us who's boss. Oh, hey, the bird's this still is. around. Let's cook it and eat it. I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jr. Kill me. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry, Barrett. You just gotta have yourself an upbeat attitude. Uh, what, what did Cleveland Brown do when he uh, had to move back home after he got kicked out of Family Guy? My name is Barrett Wallace, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. Look who it is. There's old friends the and Sir new Wallace friends. Has graced us with his presence. Oh, never mind. They really don't fucking like him. Okay, shit. <laughs> ah, you know, classic. Just waste your drink. Just pour it over the dude's head. You know, not like you could have had that. You know, welcome for yourself. Oh well, this place sucks. I um, uh, I'm just gonna do the side quest, the Queen's Blood matches, and just get out of here because this is a uh, this is terrible. It's like I'm in Gary, Louisiana. Oh, don't mind Rolf here. He's just a bit worked up, is all. Wait, Wait. Rolf? Rolf the dog? What the, what the fuck? Is this a dog that plays Queen's Blood named Rolf? Life has many doors, Ed boys! You may find this hard to believe, but he's the world's only canine competitor. And he's pretty good, too. I'm gonna play a card game against the dog. Uh, is, this might be game of the year for me. I'm not kidding. <clears throat> Alright, uh, uh, good job, Fido. Puppycock! Fuck! Listen, if I try really hard, I think I can figure out how to play the Black Parade on here. I don't know, I, I don't know anything about piano. I never played the piano in my fucking life. I literally just... <laughs> Why am I getting addicted to this? Am I finding this fun? I thought this was dumb when I first found this out. <gasps> Sand! Sandworm! D don't! Don't reference! Alright guys, I killed it. Let's uh, colonize the spice now. Alright, uh, time to take a trip to the Golden Saw House. This will take us all the way to the Saw House. And you, sir, are... Yeah. Alright, we made it. Um, now it's time to gamble my entire life savings away. Ready to come join me, my uh, hooded friend and uh, Barrett? Barrett Wallace. Tifa Lockhart? And Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Oh my fucking god, I forgot this guy's played by oh William god. Salyers. This is Rigby's voice actor. That's all well and good. Damn. This game looks amazing. Alright, time to gamble all my gill away. Oh, oh hey, it's uh it's the fucking cat uh from from the last game that we saw for like just a second. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a casino. Well now, who the fuck is this? 
Oh, good lord. I mean, it looks impressive. The animation, <laughs> the pelvic, yes. What am I fucking looking at? Yuffie, close your eyes. No way, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? Oh well, that's a great idea. Bring the introvert onto center stage. Welcome to our gilded paradise. The <laughs> Dio, art director. Dio. And you, sir, are. Yeah. Shall we do? What are you gonna crush you with your thighs or something? Good lord, man. Let me go. <laughs> oh god. Um. Ford Condor? Oh, 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 uh, pu punch and kick, punch and kick minigame. This is easy. Yeah, I, I can get this. I'm ending this. How can this be? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Aww. Cloud's having fun. He's actually smiling. He's actually having fun. So oh, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Teensy little break. All those in favor? Me. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love Red Thirteen. Damn He's so cool. Come on, Cloud. You're having fun up there. Oh my fu- I ha- <laughs> I, I have not seen you in a little bit, you white-haired shit! And the moment you pop up, you just tell Cloud, Yeah, go right ahead, go have fun! No. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this fucking game, dude? Since when the fuck did I step to the haunted hotel at Disneyland? Uh, fluffy stuffed animal? Uh, Scottish fluffy stuffed animal? Eyes up here. Okay, Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. Holy fuck! It's a talking cat that that has a Scottish accent. Life like this. this game is fucking cool. All right, well, uh, let us know when you want to join the crew, buddy. We'll uh, we'll be waiting over here in the hotel or some, uh, you know, whatever. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Barrett, Barrett, relax, relax. Holster the weapon. What in the hell was that? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This would be the <laughs> best the haunted hotel to stay at. Like this is this is really well put together. Holy shit. Reservation. All right, Cloud, time to crash out for tonight. <laughs> oh, it's it's fake. It's fake. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. This game is a. Uh, this game is clever, isn't it? Oh fuck you! I want at least a healing potion or something? Maybe if I try again, something will pop up. Nope, it's still the eyeballs. Sorry, man. I feel like I failed you. Yay, another boring Zack section. Let's get this over with so I can get back to playing the actual fun game. I mean, this part of the story is interesting, but, like, I I just don't have a lot of, like, answers or, like, connections to, like, fit this together right now. And I guess maybe that's the point. This this middle point of the story isn't really full with, like, a lot of reveals or anything, but I, I just keep popping back here to, like, Zack's timeline or some shit, and I'm just really confused. Also, help me out here, game. Help me out. I, I don't know how to control Zack in this weird, uh, fixed camera perspective. This isn't 1997 anymore. Who left this book here on the floor? Causing such a mess. There we go. All good. Oh, you son of a bitch. Stay right there. Don't you fucking go anywhere, I'm watching you. You son of a bitch! Hello? Oh, that's fucked. This is getting a one-star review, it most definitely. Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I need pictures of Spider-Man! Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. 
So here I am, the odd woman out. Oh hell yeah, Tifa I date. I already that know that um be nice to make millions of people who are playing this game what right now are freaking care? the fuck out because now I they could take their favorite virtual girl I on a date. Like I don't know shit about the story, I don't know about canon or anything, but these two look like they're a future Lord couple. Joe I mean, I saw Advent soon. Children, they look like they were a couple, but they just look like they were, you know, dealing with shit. This place looks fun, huh? Now we're talking. That one's practically calling your name. Bet you'd kill on it. But it's for kids. <laughs> Shut up, you You're sassy little, little fuck. Just play the damn Whatever. game. See, this is this is a lot of fun. These mini games are actually really well like put together here. But if I'm gonna be honest here, anytime I uh, <coughs> uh, anytime I play these mini games, I'm just thinking to myself, damn. I just. I just want to be playing Yakuza right now. Like, remember the Cabaret Club? That minigame was basically its own thing. By the way, I'm really sorry. I never actually played any of the Yakuza games. Cloud. It's Jesse. Aw, Jesse. Back when I was still finding By the way, Cloud, she still owes you a pizza. You owe me a pizza. <laughs> God. Oh, the combat is so fun. All right, I did all the challenges. I'm bored again. Oh, holy shit. A casino shooting. That's uh, not good. That's not good at all. So I am trying to have a date with Tifa right now, so there's something more important going on, Barrett. So let's just get through this. You know what I'm saying? Looks fun, huh? What's with the fucking music? Come on, this is supposed to be a happy moment. Yes, 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 yes. Your attention, please. We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. No! 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 Working no! Hard to shit. We've got trouble! <laughs> fucking... The stupid bad? game, you're teasing! You you're fucking yeah, teasing! I know. I'll take it from here. I am Dio. Alright, Cloud, let's get out of here. We took in a lot of gambling debt, so let's make sure not to run into any type of problems while we're trying to get the fuck out of here. Hey! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, wait! Oh! Welcome to Corel Did he Prison. just hit Cloud in the head with a nailed bat? Did he just Negan... Did he just give him the fucking Glenn special? Hey. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like you're trying to speak. I am now fighting boxes. Sephiroth will have to wait. I have run into a more treacherous enemy. Oh, oh, you guys are fucking done now. I am a fucking king at Mario Kart 8! Someone's gotta emulate Mario Kart 8 on the PC so we can mod a uh, cloud into the game. And have him ride an actual chocobo during the races. What did I say? What did I tell you? I was gonna win no matter what! I was gonna win no matter what! Ah, the big, wide open, spacious desert. I'm getting serious, like, near replicant, near automata vibes right now. Like, am I the only one who thinks that? I don't know. I I love Nier Automata. If you played that game, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about, but I don't know. Whenever anytime I'm playing this game, I just get like that feeling of just playing Nier again. Not good. Uh, I should have guessed we were in the Midwest. This way. Hey Barrett, buddy. Move. Hey Barrett, can we talk about the shooting that happened at the casino? Uh tornado. Uh Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the land, big guy? Ah! What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. You see, I was going to assume Hostel Gatto from uh, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine. My best friend. Let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm heart. <laughs> Crazy white woman. Eleanor. Marlene. So Marlene's. Hoy, uh, I mean, it makes more sense now I why Barrett to wants away, to protect Marlene. But I, was I mean, like, uh, damn. Uh, yeah, I can't lie. This is actually pretty emotional. My Until fucking Doc god, dude. This. Barrett, my god, dude. Why do you have to go together. through so much shit? I just want to give Most this big old you. guy a hug. Hey, Dine, buddy. You want to tell me why there's a bunch of bodies at the Golden Saucer? You want to you wanna help me out here, buddy? Hey. I 
I know you. Bro looks fucked God. with a capital F. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Barrett Wallace. Hell, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Oh god, he's fucking crazy. Alright. Oh, god she damn it. Alright, Barrett, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Stein! Stop! Boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. Oh hell yeah! Is, um, Final Fantasy VII gonna become a, a cover shooter? I love it switching the genres right out of the gate. This is between us and no one else. Da 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 on the fucking cat! I know how to hold down buttons better than you, Dine. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't familiar. I wasn't familiar with your game. <laughs> the best of friends together again. My and best of friendo. Marlene. I can't remember. What the? What the fuck? What the? Dude, what the fuck? Are you used this kid or something? What happened to Dine, man? My goodness! Alright, alright, you're you're out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dine. Sorry. You know. I can hear her now. The fuck was that? Look at me, Barrett. Man, I've just been silent for like this entire like back and forth. This is this is a really good like backstory, a really good like you know character building moment for Barrett. I, I was thinking Bear was probably going to be one of my favorite characters just from playing the remake, but dude, this, this is, this is heartbreaking. This is fucking sad. You carry that guilt, that weight. Dine. God Dine. fucking damn it, dude, what the fuck? Baby. Fuck this fucking game! <laughs> I thought this game was supposed to be funny. <laughs> what the- oh, the, 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 the. <laughs> Okay, okay, there's the funny. There we go everybody, we found the funny again. God, this shit is so cool. You know... Even if these remakes weren't made with like this third person like button mashing like, type of combat, the turn based like animations and like how they play out still look really good here. Alright, kick him to death, Tifa. I can't see what's going on, but I bet it looks cool. <laughs> and uh, who might this be? I would very much like the car, though. That would be really Fear great to use. <gasps> <Dio! laughs> well, that's 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 actually kind of funny. We got like a uh, this game's got its own like turret section, but like it's Barrett in the back of a trunk. That's clever. That's clever. Okay. 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 Listen, I played the final mission of Modern Warfare at least like 20 to 30 times. You can't stop me, helicopter. Even though that final mission was. You know, very scripted. Fuck this fucking helicopter. You know what? Now that I actually think about it, th this isn't reminding me of Modern Warfare. 
This reminded me of Jack 3. Any of you remember Jack on the PlayStation 2? Not like the first Jack game where it's just a platformer. The second and third Jack games that were like extremely edgy and just had a bunch of shooting and a bunch of other sci-fi monsters. I swear, if, if any of you played Jack 3 before in the past on the PlayStation 2, then you are a real one. That was good. This game is good. All right, now who is this? Who is this? Who are you? What the fuck are you? I think I know you. Zack, 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 Zack. I'm a big truck driver. Come forward, hit me a buckshot. Oh well, Yuffie's dead. It's been a good ride, everybody. Where to now? We don't have any leads, and driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is the worst idea. Shut the fuck up! When you don't know where life's leading! You should get yourself a reading! Ooh. Of course you're interested, yo, Eric. Meow meow what the what the fuck? What are you, Kate Sith? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here. There's another rundown reactor. America has a yeah. fat lot of price. And the cat finally joins the crew. Welcome aboard, buddy. I, uh, I actually can't wait to see what you're like in combat. Also, this is dope. We get a buggy? I mean, I, I know we were driving with this already, but man. This game is opening up so much. Compared to the remake, this game is just like... It's like a gift basket of like fun things to do. Hey, wh what the what the fuck? I mean, okay, why can't the buggy just run over the enemies? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? I just want to make it clear for like the five people who watch this video. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with the materia system. I am like stupid as shit looking at all these colorful little orbs. What the fuck? This guy's fucking floating. Is he an airbender? Yo, Zaheer, is that you? I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. I am he Gojo, and I have the six eyes. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back. First try. My name is Ladrell Belmont. Trevor Belmont? And I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. <laughs> You hear her too. The end is nigh. Or perhaps. Is this, is this what it's like to play Uno? I don't know. I've never played Uno. Why is the lore for Queen's Blood uh, actually is. interesting Uno right now? Too. How did they make a card mini game so interesting? I uh Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the Moogle uh, minigame little side quest here thing. I'm mainly only doing this because I want more skill points. That's pretty much it. Would you mind rounding up all the Mooglets for me? Go away, you're so ugly. Get in there. Go. You're such a great help, Koopo. 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 All we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? Uh huh. Oh, what no the f actual Name's freaking Steve hell are Steve. you, dude? From a long line of goblins. I look after these You're a goblin? You don't even. You don't warfare. look like you belong in this Wait. game. You look like you were pulled straight out of a PlayStation 2 game. Well, okay, well, actually, this is a PlayStation 1 game, so I mean. Well, I, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna just. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. He sounds like Sonic from Sonic Unleashed. Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Me? 
Go, 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 go. I just I feel like I've been here before. Gungaga. Are these? They are. Gungaga mushrooms. Gungaga. They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here, here you can't move for the blasted things. Why the fuck do you think they're called Gungaga mushrooms, Kate said? You. You. What? I don't know who you are, so. Nothing. For a second, I thought. Yeah, there was someone I don't. Else. I don't know who the hell you are. Welcome to Gungaga. Gunga. I'm Cisne. Cool. Jesus Christ. Did every region have, like, a really bad reactor problem that just killed a bunch of people? God damn, Shinra's fucked mm -hmm. up. Oh my mm -hmm. fucking god, Yuffie! <laughs> this game is- this game's Thank writing you. is really good, and the jokes are, are funny. I s suck really fucking bad, but I'm actually having fun here. I hate to admit it, but I'm actually having fun with this piano minigame thing. Don't ask how I can tell, but you're into Queen's Blood, aren't you? Isn't that great, Oscar? I've found someone you can play against. <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Oscar the Swift. He's a watch chocobo. A huge Queen's Blood fan, too. He gets cranky if he can't play at least one game a day. I already so, played Queen's Blood against a dog, an airbender, now I'm gonna play it against a chocobo. I pretty much have seen everything. Are you hearing this? It's coming from the reactor! We gotta check it out! Chernobyl part two, baby, let's go! Ah, Gungaga Reactor. Hey buddy! Then a minute. I gotta say, because I'm able to do so many different side quests, it's not too jarring when Sephiroth pops up because it's, it doesn't feel like it's too frequent. Oh my god, not her. Dude, I'm more scared of her than I am of Sephiroth. Like, this crazy freaking white woman, she reminds me of, like, Hillary Clinton. Um, okay, uh, we got a Ludwig adjacent ass boss fight here. What the hell is this? I mean, it looks really freaking cool. Oh shit, Cloud got frenzied. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm stuck in a cutscene. Help me, Barrett. Da, 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 da. Oh shit! Cloud, shit! Oh god, uh, he's radioactive. Radioactive. Sorry. Sorry, I was thinking about Imagine Dragons or something. What the? What the hell? We got armored cores in this game too. Okay, wow, the Shinra military contract budget must be high. Take the chocobo. Chicken. And just in case. Good idea. Thanks. Oh, what did I tell you? Every game now has to have a grappling hook, and it just it's just going to work. We That was cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this grappling hook uh but the six to seven out of ten. It's not bad, it's not bad. I think the Sekiro grappling hook is a lot cooler. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. So we got the crazy white bitch who is fighting in this giant mech suit. We got Cloud who's going all schizo mode, and everyone is basically dying now inside of a broken reactor. So uh yeah, lots of fighting happens and uh, I guess this shit. Okay, okay, uh, uh Mr. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Cloud is popping off right now. Okay, Cloud, uh, out here giving soldiers the Sephiroth Advent Children special. Okay, bro, you're gone a little crazy. 
Yeah, no, uh, that's a little much. That's a little much, buddy. You're going a little. Cloud, don't let her fool you. Oh my God, dude, you're not helping with this. Can you just fuck off she for one second? So you're so obsessed. Fear. Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Okay, bro, fucking snap out of it. Seriously, what are you gonna start speaking Aramaic or some shit? Don't do this. Many, many to cow. Satana, Satana. Okay, so how does Mako work in this universe? Uh, radiation poisoning. That has to be, like, this universe's equivalent of radiation poisoning. Like, is she- is she dead? Is she gonna die after this? Oh! Okay, well, um, again, she might not be dead. It could be just a, you know, uh, you know, what's the story again in the Bible? The guy gets swallowed by the whale or the giant fish. All right, look. Cloud, look at my boobies to know that I'm actually real. Tifa! Tifa. Pumpkin. Where the fuck am I? Tifa, over here! And who are these voices? Who the hell is that? A weapon? Okay, I'm back to being confused now on what's going on. I mean, the cool little Mako whales look tight. Like their design. Oh, hell yeah. This is real gameplay. That's right. Only real masters know how to hold down the, the big bumper triggers. I pretty much was just not really saying much during this whole sequence. So we go through like some of Tifa's memories, going through Nibelheim memories and all that junk. And Sephiroth tries to kill the big whale. Tifa then gets spit out by the big whale. Barrett slaps Cloud in the face. And then uh, Tifa and Cloud rest up because they just got fucked up. Sometimes I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine and know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, is someone a little schizo? Oh, a little short-term memory loss, oh, he can't get he doesn't understand who he is anymore. Soldier cells degrade. What? I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm falling apart. Okay, you know what, at this point, the schizo shit and the memory loss and the mixed personalities and memories is the least of your problems. You're you fucking dying, before. dude. Now it's my turn. Holy fucking shit, they're gonna do it. Everybody fucking lock in. <laughs> <laughs> is that Yuffie? <laughs> oh, well, guess these two are Cloud and Tifa shippers as well. I, that's right. Worried. Sorry. <laughs> oh, come on, Cloud and Tifa, we're about to match each other's freak. Ah, oh, well. Side quest time. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got here. And he's looking for someone to teach me the ways of the warrior. Uh, uh, sure, whatever. I don't care. I'm, I get paid either way. Hey, wait, hold on. Uh, what's this? What's this? Uh, there's another side quest. Hey, can you spare a minute? Not really. All right, bet. Timer starts now. Oh, my chickens flew the coop. Chicken. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? Birds, they love the sound of this here clanger. Clanker? Roger, and roger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. This fucking sucks. Come on, you fucking stupid dickhead. No, follow the box. Back You're to supposed one. to like the big tin box. I am gonna fucking cook you and eat you and boil your bones in broth. Welcome home, my baby dearest. You better season them real good. Yeah. So uh, this is not a fun side quest. I am I am having a bad time. At this point At this point, I'd rather be vacuuming Mako. That just leaves Pippoli. Goodness Come on, me. man. I already got oh, three chickens. Come on. Come. Rule of thirds. I should only- I should be done by now. Pippily ran off toward the airfield. 
We must find her before the fiends do. I swear to God, if I have to slowly drag this goddamn tin can all the way back to the village, I am dropping this game from a nine to a fucking zero just from this stupid side quest. It's a long way back to town. Careful now. Fuck you, Tetsuya Nomura. I love modern gaming. Oh, thank God. Okay. Combat. Combat. Yes. Give me combat. Just a little bit of it. Okay, so do I still have to fucking drag that, like, box all the way back? Hey! You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, I thought this side quest was gonna kill my enjoyment of the entire game, but uh, thankfully... Thankfully, they were playing a little prank on us. They were playing a little prank on me. Okay, it's everything's all good. Everything's all good. My darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it back safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. <laughs> Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Oh! Say good night, Pippoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they had like their own fucking like vine boom sound effect. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Tasty chicken. Okay, you know what? That quest was worth it. This game is now a 10 out of 10. There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. My fucking god, dude. I think this turned I think this turned Red 13 vegan or some shit. I running free. If I hadn't. Well, we all got to eat. Oh. Fucking damn it. Hey y'all, uh, look what I found on PETA's uh, Twitter page. Uh, it involves actually this side quest that I just did. Right? Oh, thank you, dearie. <laughs> it starts off fine, even if it's a bit tedious. A bit. <laughs> and we love the part where Red 13 spoke chicken. But then. Th this is the best part. This is the best part. Make sure you're paying attention. Say goodnight. The exact moment you realized you had to <laughs> follow us for expose of the Mughal meat industry. Back in the game. Um, that chicken dinner was good, but um, yeah, Red Thirteen got really sad. So let's. What's this warrior shit here? Um, since you're here, I need your help. To become a true warrior, please, guide me to greatness. I'm So Tetsu, by the way, with the GYC. Hey, no hey, uh, Zu Tetsu, you know, um, your voice acting, you your voice, you don't sound like you're very enthusiastic to become a warrior, all right? I need some more grit. I need some more passion, all right? Bring out the fucking fire, the rage. You look like, you sound like you don't care. Oh, wait, fuck shit, not that name, no. Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Are those just like squats or something? Oh, oh, oh! Okay, okay. Yuffie and Cloud out here giving this rhino thing the ultimate freaking uh, spanking. Cooking happened. Watch your feet. I don't know what you conjured up, but the smoke is literally black. If Gordon Ramsay saw that and or smelled it. I think he would actively kill you. The duck's burn! You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! Wow, that's a smell. We should go. Now. Oh my god, don't Ch wait. Cloud Chill, I don't think it'll kill you. Guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. Okay, well, I was being nice. I'm not trying to die. Why does the kitchen look like a crime scene? Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm choosing that. The pumpkin put up a fight. Should have called Charlie Brown. It was long enough. To... It needs something, but I'm not sure what. I would hate to live Maybe in this world because I can assume there's probably like no Google or some shit, so you can't just look up how to make like certain or recipes not. or anything. So I would just be completely stuck. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You say a dog is selling produce? Are dogs a big integral part of the society here? Because I found a dog playing Queen's Blood, and now there's a dog selling produce. 
Oh wait, is this another dog side quest? Fuck yeah, cue to music. Thanks, doggy. I wish that mission could have lasted longer. Uh, uh, I'm almost done with this region. I don't know why I've been, I've been wanting to do all the side content for all of the areas. I don't think I'm gonna do all the side content though, but I'm gonna do as much as I can. I've added a new trial to the simulator, which you may undertake at your leisure. <sighs> at your leisure? Cheeky, considering you're not risking life. Do you two rest, ever stop fighting? I will endeavor to not only assist you, but ease the weight of your burdens with my humor. <laughs> oh, Chadley, you little shit. It's like the second or third time you've done that. I love the joke at the beginning of the game where before you do your very first fiend challenge, Mike calls you on the scanner and her volume is turned all the way down until she says her name. It just shows her and Chadley have been at each other's necks since the very beginning. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Hey, as long as it's not Spirit Airlines. And hey, as long as we're not on any Boeings, if I'm being honest. Look! Ah oh, shit! It ain't Spirit Airlines, but it's New England Airlines. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna die. Where to, folks? He looks familiar, but I have no fucking clue who he actually is. With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. How do you do that? That's cheap, by the way. A thousand gil. Thank you. That's very cheap. But how'd you do that? You moved your hands like you knew that was there. What what is your game, bro? I didn't hear your name clearly. Can you turn the music down? I swear, this game just loves to blare music all up in I your must ear. Admit, I didn't expect to find a willing participant. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. But no, Roche, Roche, no! Don't let this fucker do experiments on you. Oh no, my poor boy. No, not my boy. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science. My brilliance a guiding light. Okay. See, I would be having a lot more fun if I was able to change my direction. Turn this into Final Fantasy VII Microsoft Flight Simulator. Chapter 10, baby, we are on a roll. We're on a we're on a big dinner roll. Brought you as far as I could. He basically brought us as far as the story would allow it. <laughs> Look at the size of this world map here, dudes. There's definitely something going on up there in like the clouded area. Get over here, you motherfucker. <laughs> Well, I just thought of a funny joke. I was gonna say what nobody else is willing to say. I fucking hate these chocobo sneaking missions! Oh, wait, wait, I gotta stop real quick. I gotta throw a rock just so I could get this chocobo to turn 180 degrees. Get over here, chicken! <laughs> There's a rock remix for the chocobo song. Uh, this, this game is good. This is a good game. I don't care if maybe you got a problems with the pacing or, you know, some of the mini games or whatever. This game is just silly. This is a silly, silly game, and I love it. What? What? God damn it! No! Fuck! Let me try again. Alright, I'm satisfied. Oh! Oh, what the? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Did you just teleport? I'm still gonna fucking kill you, though! No time to celebrate. There you go, my little uh, baby chocobo buddy. Another sign put up. Your little uh, sign autistic obsession has been fulfilled. Man, that's fucking cute, dude. That's adorable. If only the Moogles were as adorable as the chocobos. Alright, enough fucking around. Let's continue the story. <laughs> Hey, guys! It's me! I'm back! And the true voice is revealed. Right now, 
Why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Fellow who? Bugenhagen. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Oh, uh, Barrett, what was that little, what was that little shimmy there? <laughs> An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It reminds me of when Sanji got his first ever wanted poster in One Piece. Welcome to the sanctum of planetology. Oh, Cosmo well, kid. okay. Um, that sounds a little bit too close to Scientology, and uh, if it is just like Scientology, then uh, am I gonna run into Tom Cruise here? <laughs> is that SSL? Wait, what? Oh shit! Used to be uh, bro's uh, mute I, or signals. deaf, I think. Or <laughs> shit! I thought my audio was broken. I, I was like, oh, is he talking? I just can't hear him. Huh? Speak up! Why don't you? Oh, now I feel like a dickhead. It's okay, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play a game. Oh, oh my god! Do put up a fucking fight. That was that was tough. Look at that. What by one point? I won by one point. Hang on. Are you ex-military too? Oh, he lost his voice. Okay, okay, so he can he can hear completely fine. He just can't speak. Good uh, luck with that. Fucking hell yeah. Hell yeah, Robin. You have yourself a good one. Congratulations. You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Blood Cloud. Cloud. Thanks, Chadley. Okay, okay. I'm liking this piano mini game. It's fun. This is fun. God damn it! Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. You're only making it harder. <laughs> I love Red 13. He's so funny. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig. Is that you, my boy? Coming! Oh, I look at the little cutie patootie. He's probably like in his 30s or some shit, though. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. How the hell do you sleep? Okay, I guess just like that. <laughs> I wonder if, just like a computer, he put himself into sleep mode real quick. Traveler. You've more than a passing interest in Queen's blood. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. By the people, it for the people. Fire! I'm not lying when I say this though, I think Queen's blood is actually the best part of this game. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen. That's a, that's a funny name. Well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? I know what the fuck? <laughs> Good the 48 the fuck and me you know I'm 56 years old damn I'm sorry That's... the planet crying out a sorrowful dirge indeed what we just heard didn't come from the planet though that was definitely the voice of a weapon oh yeah I remember that when Tifa got swallowed by the big whale thingy like it was Jonah or some shit out of the Bible because we saw them with our own eyes two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. <laughs> Fascinating account. Were it true? What the fuck does that mean? Such grand delusions could be a sign of Mako poisoning. Do see a doctor. Hey, yo! Excuse me? This old wrinkly oh, son of a bitch is just calling me crazy. That would do them some good. Fuck you, you should get out more. I present to you our planetarium. Oh, this looks so fucking cool, dude. Oh, I would love to see this in real life. This looks so sick. Okay, okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm back on board, Bugenhagen. Planetology is not simply the study Shapes of the Shapes and colors, the likes of which I've never seen. Home, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life. That mankind was born. Now I'm bored. Okay, that was chill. That was a pretty cool history lesson about the live stream, Mako, and all that crap. That was cool. It is fated to fuel man's machinery and fade away. But does it actually fade away? Will ever fade away? Why does it be? I don't know. Returns, what, don't know the lyrics. What if it just returns to the live stream in a different form? Is that possible? It's entirely possible. A novel theory. 
Suggestive of a lack of understanding. You, you f old uh, ignorant your fuck. I'm gonna I fucking beat your ass, I swear to god. Fucking off brand Master Roshi looking fuck. I get it, you know, stuck in the past or whatever. Maybe he just feels like he's too old to be a part of this new generation, but man, just, just stop belittling us. Okay, we, we brought back Nanaki. Can you at least just be a little bit more patient? Bugenhagen. 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 When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Oh, so you're one of those fucking people, huh? Oh, you just die, just total blackness. Oh, you, you suck, you feet. Why you do fucking you think suck. That? I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Fuck you, Yuffie. I bet if you even saw actual proof, you'll still fucking deny it. You're like Brian Griffin. So, I'm an ancient. As in, a steward of the planet. One of those ancients. My blood's been nothing but a curse. There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Okay, what's this uh, thing of great importance, Mr. Boogie Hoogie? Oh god, it's a fucking vault. And I just finished season one of Fallout, so please don't put me in one of these. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? God damn, Nanaki, what it you got against Barrett? Not to hate me. That's our boy, our home dog, our man with the gun for an arm. Now, well, we got like a dedicated Nanaki section. It's gonna be cool. I'm excited. I like playing as I like playing as Nanaki. He's fun. Oh, that's fucking adorable. Such walls should be well within your power to climb. Hey, that is fucking cool, dude. Man, this is this is making like gameplay as Cloud kind of lame. Now I want to play as like every other character besides Cloud, except Aerith though. I mean, Aerith's cool, but I I just can't do magic, man. Maybe I'm just not as good as playing with Aerith as the other characters, but she's just I don't know. I just I just can't handle her, dude. She gets she gets her ass beat too easily. Okay, so not a key section was pretty cool, but it was like simple fun. It was mainly just beating enemies back to back while grabbing a bunch of misplaced items that belong to these dark entities called Gies. I don't know. I wasn't really paying too much attention to this section, but it looked really cool. Oh, and we run into Nanaki's petrified father. Oh, shit! The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. <laughs> Damn, he's been down here this whole time and Nanaki's been like, Oh, my, my dad ran away. My dad's a bitch. Fuck him. I fucking hate him. I hope he died. And then he sees him like this. <laughs> oh, Nanaki. Never change. I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon and son of Seto, protector of our veil. Oh shit! Yo, by that margin, he's been listening. He listened to everything. He just listened to like their entire speech. Like, the oh, fuck, damn it! Oh fuck! I wanted to. I wanted to get a screenshot. That looked really cool. Hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. Guy, thanks for telling me. I th oh my fucking god, that was terrible. Why did I make that joke? Guess who's back? Back again. Uh, can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? I got somebody you can ask. The home of the Guy lies beyond. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> Fucking Yuffie, you need an intervention okay, or some shit. Right. America has a <laughs> fat lot. I'm gonna hurl. Maybe for being a ninja, you easily get world. motion sickness. Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Only because he mentioned materia. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> <laughs> Eris basically asking, um, hello there, am I annoying, <laughs> racist, and basically ignorant as all fuck? 
And we're back with the Zack section. Okay. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. But then, Tetsuya Nomura was like, oh, Nah, I'm is. gonna bring this fucker back to life. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. But then, Tetsuya Nomura... God, that's so stupid. I'm sorry, that's so then, stupid. Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. I don't wanna. Sure, I wanna go back to the why? fun. If he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on, guys, desperate to prove himself. Hey, Biggs, this seems like a really important conversation, but I can't hear you over the sound of everyone fucking talking. Get a load of this. Okay, let's. Me, Gungaga. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Who's there? <laughs> oh my god, why are you here? Even in an alternate reality, you're still here being annoying. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. I'm gonna pay you $100 to fuck off. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless, so long as we don't lose sight of what's important. And as long as the writers know what they're doing for part three, you know, because I don't think that's set in stone either. Going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. <laughs> He's trying to bring out, like, his inner Kingdom Hearts, um, energy, like but he just can't like, do it since like he was never in any of the games. It. I never played Kingdom Hearts, but I know for damn sure Zack wasn't in any of them. It's me. The wind. That was you, wasn't it? <laughs> Hello in there. What? Oh, what? Okay. That was actually People interesting. Arrived. That's, that's, okay, what was that? Welcome to the village of the Gee. Plug is a little weird, but he's pretty chill. Oh, hey, well, good to know that the village of Gee, a place that is overrun by dark spiritual entities, has a bench, a shop, and a place to use my skill points. This game, man, is fucking hilarious. Un intentionally and unintentionally. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Oh, that must be a horrible afterlife, because there is none. These dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're in I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. This stuff so far has been pretty interesting, but I am kind of confused on like the black materia stuff. But you know, I just gotta wait and see. I'm just, I'm just riding along. I'm just coasting along, hoping to God I can pick up what's being put down. Oh yep, yeah, I figured. Oh, look at that! Look who's back. Is he gonna show his face? Hey there, you. Fucking seven foot tall twink. Can you just can you just lead us to the black material with that metal blah 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 already? Okay. I'm tired of you showing up and giving Cloud a concussion. I have an idea. At least I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. I mean, yeah, he was built by Shinra, but he's pretty trustworthy. I mean, we gotta give Kate Sis some credit. Only you oh god, okay, we're back with the blinding white lights. <laughs> oh, hey, surprise, we're back. Yes, we're back. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. <laughs> Alright, got all of the uh, important story stuff out of the way. Now let's go do some side content. I'm excited for the proto relic stuff. I'm really into like this Gilgamesh side quest. I mean, I think that's what the dude's called. I was told this guy with all the arms is called Gilgamesh, but I don't know. He just seems like a Bill to me. I'm gonna just name him Bill. Cloud. Just entered Jabberwock territory. Fucking Jabberwock. What are these stupid names for these creatures? Okay, I don't know what a Jabberwock is, 
But that's a fucking dragon. Come on. Come on, Kate. Smack that big fucking lizard on the ass. Wait, 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 wait. This dude is weak to fire? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, sure. Why not? Come on. I played Elden Ring. You think I don't know how to fight dragons? God, this game has some really good boss fights. Excuse me, is something wrong? Forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar. Ah, wait. True to Kaiser. That's an easy side quest. It basically just involves me taking pictures of a bunch of stars. That's cool, I guess. Oh, wait. Fuck. I told myself I was going to do the proto relic. Hold on. Let me do that real quick. Or start it at least. Wait, wait, wait. Is that materia I smell? My precious materia, where are you? You need an intervention from this materia shit. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? Oh, wait a fucking minute. Yuffie. You guys, you guys are from the Integrade Final Fantasy Remake DLC. I remember you. You too. What were they saying again? Saying that you didn't need to play the remakes to play this game? That is a fucking lie. Total lie. You need to play the remake first before playing this. No wonder why their sales are bombing. Splitting the game up into three parts was definitely gonna do this though. Splinter Cell. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me, was Wedge with you, or did you see him? Oh yeah, I remember Wedge, that big funny guy from the first game. He anything, voiced someone familiar, I think all, he was voiced by please. Badger from Breaking Wedge, Bad. He... Yeah, how's- I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... Oh my god, is he fucking dead? <laughs> oh my god, that is fucked up! They just pushed him to his death! Holy- HOLY SHIT! What the fuck? Dude! No! I liked Wedge! What the fuck? This is this game! Damn it! Don't worry. It's all good, bro. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. All souls go to back to the live stream. Hey, but they can communicate life. through the live stream? Barrett, those who pass on become one with the live stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. Shut the fuck up, Nanaki! Hey, Barrett. Why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. Perhaps I can be of service? Hey everybody, Science oh, Twink is back. My... Gears and Gambits. You must program robots with gambits and actions. And... Is this another, like, fucking very intricate mini game? Oh my fucking god, what am I looking at? I, uh, 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 I don't like this. I don't like this. This already looks... This already is fucking with my brain. Oh my fucking god. I feel like this is just the one time where you get to play this type of minigame, but even Queen's Blood is easier than this shit. Okay, I, um, I think I'm getting it now. It's not that bad, but... Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of this minigame right here. It's not bad. It's well put together, but it's just not that fun. It's all about waiting around for, you know, to spawn on a robot. Then you move from there, then you move from there, and yeah, you just kind of repeat it for a minute or two. All right, got him. Now, I gotta do this three more times and I am not looking forward to it. I mean, I'm only looking forward to Gilgamesh, but that's it. There's only one good thing about this mini game. The robot you play with is literally named Robo Chad. Meet Robot Chadley <laughs> or Robo Chad. Mm, yep. Oh, okay. All right. This this makes the quest a lot more worth it then. Forget the, you know, slightly unfun mini game. This is good. I like these. The truth is, I just want to do more for you guys. I'm sick of feeling like dead weight around here. We really are dead weight, aren't we? I'll show you dead weight. All right. Well, that took about 2 hours. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I got distracted with other shit, but it was why it took so long. But hey, no, not bad. Not a bad little minigame. I like Queen's Blood better, though. When I die, will I return to the live stream too? Given what I am? I don't know, Chadley. I think you got this Detroit Become Human type of vibe with you. Like, you die and your memories and your personality gets reset and you just, you know, are just normal Chadley again. <laughs> so if you got the guts, then come with me. I'm hungry after all, for justice. <laughs> I... You know I'm in. Mommy. Mommy. Okay. Jokes aside, this game is really, really lovely. The story is just so nice. It's tragic, but it's so beautiful. 
The characters are just so sweet and creative. The world is like so much fun to explore. The combat is really fun. And while there are some pretty dumb moments, this game is, is pretty good. This game is pretty, pretty good, dudes. Today's a new day, people. So let's not waste it. Come on, y'all. Yeah, that's right. Let's go, baby! Oh, that's right. I forgot about that proto-relic thingy. Okay, Gilgamesh, time for another meeting. <laughs> Did I do a good job? Did I replicate your laugh well enough? Beneath the moonlight, in victory shall I revel. My Genji! Got the- Chadley? Chadley?! What the fuck no, are you doing here? After analyzing the You're not supposed to be here. Oh my. This is simply fascinating. <laughs> I'm Chadley. You must tell me about yourself and about this place. You dare demand answers of me. Such impudence. <laughs> He's throwing a Freaking tantrum! He is he's bratting out. What the hell is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> I love this. This is a this is the best side quest in the entire game. Chadley, you okay? Not oh, goddamn it, he's got a fucking virus. There it is. Hurry, Cloud, get the camera. You could sneak a photo of Aerith if you wish. Uh Sure, sure, why not? Why not? It's not gonna be that good of a photo, though. Her back is turned. Not my best work, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work with it. We'll hang it up on a wall. <laughs> Whoa. Queen's blood, Queen's blood, Queen's blood, Queen's blood. Hello, Cloud. We meet again. Oh, hey, I remember fighting this guy. I, I forgot, was it on the cruise ship or somewhere else? But I do remember going up against him. Suck my dick, robo bitch. First try. Uh oh, uh, bro's tweaking. He is tweaking out bad right now. He's uh, he's tweaking out like Mr. Boss. Yep. Guess I'm ugly goo. Oh my fucking god. Um, maybe I should stop playing Queen's Blood. Oh wait, wait, I got one more to do, hold up. Oh, well, of course it would be you, Miss Pretentious. Good to see you again. Well, come on. You doing this, or what? Okay. First try again, I cannot be stopped. I'm just too good at this game. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, what, what you got for us this time? Uh, what, what's this, uh, Queen Blood doing? Once. Queen of peerless beauty and compassion. But one day, a change came over the queen. Damn. In the blink of an eye, Damn, her look. love turned to hate. Damn, this story's pretty fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. So, by my prediction, that's probably going to be the final Queen's Blood match where I have to defeat the Queen Blood herself. So, um, let's keep working and keep, um, you know, playing card games. But she is as real as you and I. Oh, uh, well, uh, excuse me? Hello? Put it, dude. You Sephiroth? What must be done. Uh, she cannot be allowed to a Shadow return. Blood Queen, she I think. You are our last hope, Cloud. Excuse me. Okay, he's been talking to us this entire fucking Away time. With the haunted hotel. You must hurry. Yeah, sorry, Queen's Blood, dude. I'm gonna have to put a pin in that. I'm uh, I'm gonna go do some other stuff. Like uh, oh, there's one proto relic quest I forgot to complete. Alright, got that done. Uh, get the proto relic. And uh, another Gilgamesh meet and greet. Here we go again. Oh, we're skipping the words and we're just going straight for the fighting. Good, good, I've been waiting. Alright, come here, you eight armed motherfucker. 
Okay, well, I know that's not the official fight because that was way too fucking short. But, you know, um, I'll wait. I'll wait. This is getting really good. This is getting pretty good. Return what you have stolen. My Genji! Your ganja? Did he just... Is he... Is he just running at Cloud trying to grab his fucking sword? I... I love this guy so much. Oh my god, he is hilarious. He's hilarious! Only then shall you know peace, but not until that day. Oh. <laughs> this game rocks. Okay, enough distractions. Time for chapter 11. You rang? And I'm free as a bird now. Oh yeah, um, this being Nibelheim, his hey, freaking Sephiroth. Mako PTSD is gonna flare up like a fucking Bring bitch. The black materia. What if I don't want to, um, Mr. Sefi Roth? You okay? Do birds ride the subway in New York? Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. Okay, um, let's continue and see where the hell this leads, cause, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not ready for this game to end, because I know it's gonna end on a pretty big fucking cliffhanger. Boogenhagen, my name is Boogenhagen. 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 Allow me to escort you to fellow Boogenhagen. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but... I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. <laughs> hey, buddy. Sorry you're dying. Okay, so, um, out of all of the... Oh, God damn it. Um, out of all of the uh, Chocobo little mini games that I've had to do to collect them, this one's actually the most fun. It's really creative. Uh, I like it. Mainly because I don't actually have to go down and sneak around the fucking Chocobos. I can just throw these little balls or fruits and just watch them walk to towards it. Thank you. Good game design. Whee! You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage, a living legend! He's probably just some sure crazy old man. man. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, this this dude is insane. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, bro, cover it up, okay? I, COVID is still a thing. You okay, sir? Are you fucking dumb? There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff, see? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? Oh, this sage is the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Billy. What? What? If anyone was gonna get it, figures it'd be you. None of this matters. <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the Don't care. Alright, all done with that. That was um uh, obnoxious until the very end when I actually got to race the chocobos with the uh, with the crazy old geezer, but you know that's that was alright. It was a very long quest, though. One more. One more Moogle Toadstool to deal with. And then, once I'm done with this, I'm never gonna talk to these Moogles ever again. Until part three, at least. Thanks so much, Koopa! I hate you! You're a true hero! Every single Emporium is once again open for business, Koopa! It was Mog and Mag's hope that these- Mag? Wait, me? Me, Mag? What? Are you- what? Huh? What? Who are- Forget, I have a super duper amazing present for you to thank you for all your help. Is it a gun? <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Kupo. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on now? What the fuck is going on now? Is this, is this like the, the secret ending where Cloud becomes King Kupo or some shit? <gasps> oh no! Bye, Cloud. Koopo. This goofy motherfucker. Oh my god. Koopo po. I genuinely believe this is the happiest Cloud has been throughout the entirety of like these last two games. He is having the time of his life right now. <laughs> so what did you think? Not bad, Koopo. 
<laughs> now that we've been reunited, the Mooglets and I will continue our efforts to spread joy all over the world. Yeah, okay, all that was worth it just for that one cutscene. That was worth it. What the fuck was that, dude? Holy shit. Okay, uh... <laughs> well done. You've completed all combat assignments in Nebo. No doubt thanks to my quality guidance. Or in spite of your excessive chatter, I need to adjust the speech frequency setting. No! God Stop damn, Chadley, you He's fucking hate mine. You and mine need to work I things out. To... Let's, uh... Let's try to unlock Odin. That definitely doesn't seem intimidating and scary. I mean, if he's as strong as Odin from God of War Ragnarok, then this should be easy. I have the high ground. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. It's one of those battles. Okay. <laughs> and fuck this, I'm doing this later. I encourage you to try again sometime. Ah, Nibelheim. Nothing but pleasant memories. Nothing but just pleasant, pleasant memories. Wait, what? My thought. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Nibelheim burned to the ground. <laughs> but it looks like exactly how it did back then. Like almost to a T. That's actually kind of weird. They rebuilt the whole village. So... Who do you think we built it? Shinra. Oh yeah, of course Shinra colonized this, you know, little Never town. All that. Makes it's sense. They would do something paint. like that. I mean, at least it looks the same as it did back then. They didn't fucking gentrify it. <laughs> oh shit. A lot of robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. Oh my god, just... <laughs> Looking at them like they're outsiders, not knowing that they actually lived in this town beforehand. Like, my god. Ugh, ugh, I hate that. I would fucking hate that. Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. Scotland forever! Alright, let's see how much has changed since the beginning of the game. So, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. Yeah, it does, when it's not engulfed in flames. Also, my mom burned alive in there, Aerith. <laughs> Goodness. You making new friends, Barrett? They're everywhere you look. I just want to know what they're rounding them up for. The hell if I know. Nothing good, though. Yeah, I'm gonna take a wild guess. I think they're here for something called a reunion. I don't know. It's, it's just a guess, though. La, 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 la. My cool king's like no other. Oh god, the Mako poisoning is infectious. I gotta get out of here. Hey, Cloud. Ever been up there before? Yeah. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? What about, say, oh, materia? Yep. Some of them even form naturally. No way. Naturally? Oh, man. You got my mouth watering. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? Kind of depends on the angle. Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgar? Hey, yep. Whoa. What? Um. Zach. Wait a second. I'm still confused. But that that was Some very people. revealing. Head over heels for Aerith. We fought together as soldiers. Holy fucking shit, he's remembering. Jesus Christ, this this is getting this is getting good. This is getting good, holy shit! I, where are you? What happened to you? If you want to learn more about Zack Fair, make sure to pick up Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core today. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings. 
more than it should. Oh fuck. That is why I want to be. Dude, alone. that hits way too close Plus, to home. I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I feel what you feel, Aerith. I, I get it. I don't even know the full extent of Aerith's past, but dude, she just sounds tragic. Like she's. It's not like she's coping, but like she's trying really hard to stay positive in like this really, really no messed up reality that she lives in. And well, enough about all that. Let's go uh, play some Queen's Blood. I await you at the haunted hotel. Hey, buddy, I'm here. What's I'm up? Glad you came, Cloud. I am the Drell Balon, the person responsible for Queen's Blood. The Queen doesn't know what I'm up to yet, what I'm plotting, but we don't have long. You must show me what you are capable of before she discovers us. First try. Aren't you supposed to be really good at this fucking game? Not that I ever truly doubted your potential. I was right to leave you that letter. Wait, huh? Letter? What letter? You remember, don't you? The I don't. That call. I hung it on your door. Though I oh shit! That stand. was you! That was you! Holy shit! He got me on this fucking crazy path of Queen's Blood. Hey, this is a fun game, so uh, thank you for the recommendation. Okay, for now, though, story time. Cap, he didn't die like that. I don't think so. That, that seems a little too weird. Nah, he didn't die like that. I call Cap! Degradation. Following me out, bit by bit. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. Okay, brother. You are seriously losing it. You're now turning into one of those robed dudes. Okay, we can we can't lose you yet. Hey, Sony, how is it that you guys created um the Uncharted series, a game that has some pretty good climbing mechanics, and since um finishing that series, every game after that has had very very shitty climbing mechanics. From God of War to this, it's just why why are they so slow? It sucks ass. It sucks ass. Ninjas from Wutai. Which means we're at war? Aren't we in the middle of a ceasefire, though? That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. See, Cloud gets it. When the other side is just that bloodthirsty, a ceasefire deal means nothing. Totally not talking about anything going on Come in the on. real world today. <laughs> can't touch this. Bow, no, no, no. Bow, no. Bow, no. Can't touch this. Bow, no, no, no. No, no. No, no. Doubt it. They were shot. Head down, ass up. That's the way we like to fuck. Cloud is definitely gonna have another panic attack. Yep, there we go. God damn it. At this point, Sephiroth, do you wanna kiss or something? Do you wanna go out to dinner? I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio. Then let's get a move on. Let's do it. Oh! Ah, <laughs> Kate Sith gameplay. Hey, look at this. I'm a tiny robotic cat. More specifically, I'm a tiny robotic Scottish cat. Scotland forever. When in open spaces, hold R2 while moving to have Kate Sith roll. Oh, well, that's all you needed to say. Can I just play as Kate Sith now? Huh. This a kid's clubhouse. Oh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Uh, hello and welcome to Shinra Manor. <laughs> oh hey, it's Mojo Hojo Jojo. Ah, it's not him. Just an AI caretaker. Damn, companies have gotten so lazy that even in video games, they're replacing their villains with AIs. Now that is dedicated to laziness and underpaying. I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. Ah! <laughs> 
I don't get it. Oh, it's because floor opened up and they drop in, and that means joke because they drop on bottom of floor and that uh, end up. Uh, well, anyways. <laughs> Too slow. Hojo fell asleep because he saw how fucking boring that puzzle was. Well, well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. Mmm, <laughs> vampire coffin. Is that Dio? Oh no. Oh god. It's not Dio, but it is a pretty gorgeous ass vampire. Very sexy anime dude. Type like of guy. Who are you? What? What am I saying? Vincent Valentine. Oh motherfucker! And it's voiced by Matt Mercer. Oh my god! Get out of here, Matt! What are you doing here? Security. You have the authorization, at least. All right, cool thing. Well, I guess we'll be on our way. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it! He's got a gun. Okay, we're dead. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you. Oh, rest in peace, Kate Seth. Can't go letting a foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? Uh... Tetsuya Nomura? Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Oh, hey, well, I guess that worked. Thank you. Hey, um, how and why is there a bench in this room? Panic attacks, panic attacks. Oh my, oh my, Cloud loves his panic attacks. Man, I swear, the third game better be interesting because this game has been introducing a lot of, like, interesting plot points, but I am very confused because, like, I hear this is, Ho this is Hojo's voice right here, but what is the significance of Hojo and Cloud and stuff like that? Because, I mean, it's building up to something, but we have to wait, like, four or five years for the third game, and I'm hankering to figure out what the hell is going on right now. I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Oh no, we're trapped inside a room with the emo vampire. What's he gonna do? Play blood on the dance floor? Hey, I won't lie, I'd take this over blood on the dance floor any day of the week. Come on, Kate, we got this! Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay, this is gonna be pretty hard. Kate, I'm sorry, I really shouldn't have put you in this fight. Alright, just, just give me a second to heal myself real quick. Oh no! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Holy shit! <laughs> Minutes later. Please let this shit end. I don't even know how long it's been. Oh, finally. Story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. You lose. Why Hagia Sophia? This. That's none of your business. Is this how you want your story to end? Get out. No. Oh my fucking god, drama queen. Let's go back to bed. That'll be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Now, again, I never played Final Fantasy VII, but that guy looks way space, too space cool to death. not become Whoa. a part of the crew. I mean, he has a gun, he is wearing bright red, he's a vampire, his name is Vincent Valentine. Like, that name is cool as fuck. So, he's going to join us eventually, I know he is. To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Wow, what a clever Trouble name. It's, it's a key, but it's a stone years. as well, so it's so, a... It's a, it's a it keystone. A key made out of stone. A gold saucer. I know, it's a stretch. No denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. Hell yeah! Follow the robot mm -hmm. cat! Follow Thank the you. robot Scottish cat! <laughs> Scotland forever! 
Oh, what now? Is it the genocidal white lady again? The Turks? Hey! It's, <laughs> it's Roche! Yes! That was fucking awesome. He is my favorite character in this entire game. Oh. Oh, wait. Fuck. Right, he got fucking infused with that Mako shit. to be here. Cause I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Oh, shit. Lion's Claw. You know, from uh, Elden Ring. I know that ain't who I think it is. My desire to see you has driven me on. Just fucking kiss already, you two. Hope you're ready. <laughs> oh, I'm so oh, I'm sorry, Roche. That uh that ended the battle really quickly. They know you don't love it. You know you love it too. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, he is literally the flirtiest character ever. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Degradation, my friend. Bro, is this the end of Roche? Is he dead? What the fuck is happening? Oh, fuck. What? He. <laughs> oh, shit. He's, he's now one of those robed freaks. That's. Is is that's there's no escape. Is that what's gonna happen to Cloud? The degradation. Okay, quick question. Where did the black robe come from? Did that just appear out that of thin air? To you. Don't I worry. have questions. Yeah, she's right. Ah, forget about that. Let's go fuck around and gamble some more at the casino in the sky. The hour is upon us. When we must rise up to confront tyranny. Yeah, fight the power. Fight the power. Thoughts, Kate um, ayo, robot cat, wake the fuck up, we need your help. Bro is updating. Um, well, you see. Should you wish to give the group a nudge in the right direction, you could push them from behind with L2. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hey, get the fuck over there, buddy. Get, get, yeah, go. Get the fuck, get the fuck down the road. Get, go. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Walk back. Get the fuck back out there. Going in. That's the way to do it. Not to be a down. All right, enemy's dead. Back to pushing. Move, move, stupid bitch. All right, I'm uh, feeling pretty crazy. I, I'm gonna attempt Odin a couple more times, and I'm not gonna stop until I get him because. He doesn't seem impossible. He doesn't. It's just an endurance test to make sure he doesn't do his, like, big finishing move. See you soon. Okay. I, I did use a finishing move myself, but, I mean, granted... I won that fair and square. That was- I still got him. I still got Odin. Oh my god, that was- that was fun though, that was really cool. Alright, back to pushing the homeless Mako Genova puppets. I walk up and say hello. No, that's too subtle, I'm gonna push him. Hey, take your time guys. It's, it's not like I have anywhere to be, you know. Just gotta get these side quests done. Following fucking slow fucking pieces of shit. We ran into a bunch before you joined, Yuffie. And Midgar? I saw my fair share when I was there too. Never came across him before that, though. Now that I think about it. Lived next to him for a bit. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, there was like a black robe dude that was living next to Cloud in another apartment. I remember it, it turned into Sephiroth and Cloud tried to bring out his sword and it hit the top of the door frame. That was the best joke of the last game. What could his experiments be doing in a place like this? Unless... No. Well, now. 
This, I this, did not this dude has been watching us this whole time. My precious specimen. Fucking creep. Chadley. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aha. Yes. So there have been Lucky seven versions seven. of Chadley? What you the hell? Oh my god. Okay. That's fucked. That's really fucked. Don't be shy now. Open up and let me see what makes you tick. There's a good boy. Jesus, you're fucking gross. Oh god, you're fucking gross! This character sucks, dude. Hojo sucks. Like, every other character is cartoonishly evil. Hojo is terrible. He's terrible. Him too? The guy from the beginning, I forgot Broden. his name. Broden. Broden, yes. Yes, that's his name. Broden. I remembered it. Hey, snap out of it. Dude, but that's fucked. Him and Roche as well? The guy from Calm? Dude, this game is this game is just completely destroying a bunch of characters. No. This is messed up. The reunion. It's time. The worms! Ah! The worms are back! Hell yeah, beach party. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What kind of bloodborne ritual type of bullshit's going on here? Hey, that's mine. I'm supposed to talk to this funny samurai guy. No, don't don't touch it. Oh, what what the fuck? They just pickpocketed me. These fucking bastards. Fucking Sephiroth, Genova, whoever. Uh, how many times are you gonna fucking show up? Oh, look it! Now he has hollow purple. That's great. That's great. Hey! This is who I wanted to see. And Sephiroth's here as well. The fuck y'all looking at? What the what the fuck is going on here? I mean, I mean, this is kind of funny to look at. Again, why is the music so fucking loud? Like, I can hear them, but the their audio is so much quieter than the music. It's kind of annoying. The curtain has fallen, and I depart the stage. Alright, besides Roche, this guy is definitely my favorite character in this game. Find me the black material. By the way, this side quest was like very deep. I really don't understand how this wasn't part of the main story. Like, you can completely skip this entire side quest, but it feels so important. I don't know why it's like just optional, but I guess maybe that's what makes it cooler, I guess. Oh, yeah, I gotta go talk to him again <laughs> right after I just got done beating his ass. All right, all done with Nibelheim. I can uh, go back to playing the game again. Let's get a move on then. Hmm? Huh. An eight? Yeah, I told you. I told you he was gonna join. He looked way too cool not to become a part of the team. Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Uh, uh, Cloud technically isn't, a, he, isn't he already dead? Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie, that's a tall order for most pilots. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. What the? Well, I guess he was just like hey. most pilots. We've lost engine one. I heard you the first time. Yeah. And engine two is no longer a fight. All right, race for emergency landing. Yeah. This boat goes down the boat. Another happy landing. I knew we should have flown Delta. Ah well, it's just a scratch. Oh, okay. Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Okay, okay. This is a pretty interesting way to get around. Did the map open up more because of this little uh, switch up in transportation? So it's not at the saucer? Do you 
know where it went? No, but I know a man who meant it. The former curator. Do you? Cut up the... Huh? How do you know that name? Let's just say... <laughs> you see, this is funny because this has layers to it. Vincent is voiced by Matt Mercer, who also voices Jotaro Kujo in the English dub of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And if you know that story, you know about Dio. He's the main villain, and in part 3, Jotaro hates Dio with all of his heart, so Vincent knowing Dio's name is funny because it's like Jotaro's hatred transcended medias. But to add to this joke, Dio in Jojo is a vampire, and in this game, Matt is playing the vampire this time around, and Dio is the strong buff counterpart. But also, Vincent is part of the main crew, so he's not really a villain. So in a way, both Vincent and Dio's characters in this game equates to a JoJo reference. I will now see myself out. Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Emo loser! Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. Yeah, it's you. You're that loner. You mean me? <laughs> yes! Are you that oblivious? Are you that stupid? Now that the tiny Bronco is able to cross the Meridian Ocean, you can fast travel to any location from the map. A custom- Oh, shit! I can teleport anywhere now! That is awesome. Awesome, sweet, cool. Oh, no way! Hey, Cloud, let me see that. This reeks of sea salt, and not the fresh kind either. This thing smells ancient. Good lord, the world has opened up a lot. I got a fucking pirate quest now? I mean, it, it's optional, but I could go out into the ocean and just find treasure? The fuck? This is a big game, man. I am not gonna 100% it. If I'm gonna do that pirate quest, I'm gonna do it on my own time. Surely I can sell you on the idea of lending the merc I've hired a hand. What's this about a merc? Oh! Perhaps your associates. The young lady agreed to exterminate those pests, only to go on a bender at a bar on the beach. Kyrie back at it again, scamming people. Uh, I mean, nothing wrong with scamming so mayors and politicians. I, you know, honestly, I, I kind of, oh, kind of give her credit for this one right monsters, here. As a personal favor, I want you to take care of that merch. How about I kill you first? Uh, oh, <laughs> hey there, Cloud. Welcome to my her, her theme song is playing in game on a radio. Are you telling me that Kyrie's fucking theme song is canon to this universe? That, that it is also part of the soundtrack? I figured out where the fiends are probably gonna show. All that's left is to have someone else do the cleanup. Let me guess. Me? Exactly. So don't try to pin it on this mark. The whole situation would be resolved if you did your job. Oh. The whole situation would be resolved if you did your job. Yeah, never mind. I think I'll just do what the mayor asked and I'll just kill her instead. But if we don't do something, it's your good name that's gonna end up taking the hit. I think that's called extortion. I don't fucking know. Shut the fuck up, Kyrie. I will slice you in half. In order to do Kyrie's job for her and exterminate the visa. Oh, fuck this! Alright, I did your fucking chores. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it! Huh? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke. You heard the man Kyrie go bite the curb. Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to take me out? What did I do wrong? Are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think Are you dumb? Like, medically speaking. Wait a minute. Is this about my looks? I think she's dumb. I think so she's gorgeous dumb. I think she's you can't dumb. take your eyes off me. Is she, do you think she's oh. dumb? She's dumb. Forgive my granddaughter her questionable sense of humor. I vaguely remember her from the last game. I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun. When I heard Enjoying the sun down. in that getup? You have to be dying of a near heat stroke. Every if time you take a step. You, I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try to make sure she stays there. Thank you for stepping in back there. Eh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. Hey, hey, don't get it twisted. I'm not gonna forgive you for Stay calling strong. Yuffie's outfit lame it's back you. in the DLC. Super lame. So, what do we do now? Let's go kill the mayor! Do you play Queen's Blood? You kind of look like you do. Sure, oh I guess. Gosh, I'm Rihanna. And Wait, I'm what? Rihanna. I'm Rihanna. Please don't stop. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Sovereign. This is it. Only one opponent remains. 
the monster of chaos chaos so wait is the monster of chaos the final match before the final boss of queen's blood uh that's a little confusing i wonder who the uh final boss of uh queen's blood is gonna be i'm very curious i fucking suck at Aerith combat leave me alone please strong and carry on I'm not having fun. Never mind, I'm having fun again. I don't know how I did that though, but I, I won. See, now this, this is how you fight. This is how to fuck shit up. Oh, okay. I love fighting as Tifa. Give it up for everyone's nightmare. The murder machine supreme. Psycho Mantis? Psycho Mantis. Good God, man. Can one song on this soundtrack just suck? All of them just rock so hard. Hello. Where did you come from, beautiful? You looking to get in good with the gust, man? Grab his dick and twist it! Oh my God, dude. This is an MMA fight, dude. Don't ever pull this crap again. You offer any more people as prizes, they'll have to scrape you off my shoe. Got it. Whatever you want, Mom. Okay, I uh, am very, very close to getting all of the side stuff done. And I um, think I'm going to start over back here and just see what I can finish up. Because I, uh, I'm i not trying to get to 100%, but I do like the side quests in this game. And I'm just, I'm just trying to get as much enjoyment out of this game as I can. I mean, the one main thing I want to do is finish off the Queen's Blood side quest. Because that is really, really fun. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, it's good to see these guys again. Look who it is! Hmm? business? That's right, buddy. And right now, we just so happen to be looking to hire new talent. I'm in. Do you have health care? So, prospective employee, first things first. What is your full name? Cloud Strife. Seriously? Yeah, man. I need the money. I'll take whatever I can get. If you were to join us. What sort of skills would you bring to the table? Comic relief. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Cloud could be pretty funny if you uh, give him a dress and a dance routine. Welcome to the BB family. All right, nice. I got the job. Uh, infinite money glitch. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's all I really had to do is just do the side quest, and now I'm now I'm just gonna constantly make money throughout my playthrough. Three seconds later. This is close. Ah, well, that was short-lived. Kind of called it. Anyways, with my newfound unemployment, how about I go do something fun like ride a dolphin? I love this fucking game! Captain? Oh, wow, it's really you. 7th Infantry, right? It's good to see hey, you, my Captain. boys, my brothers, my men, my brother-in-arms, the guys I did the parade with. Uh, you. Me? What the fuck is that? Okay, I mean, that, uh, that looks pretty freaky, not gonna lie. I gotta admit, this is actually pretty cool. It's like the game is not running out of enemy designs. It is, it is pretty badass. Uh, see you later, buddy. I know I'm gonna have to chase you. Got a chocobo contracted set. You're on it? Yeah. Good. We'll return to Junon. The garrison needs to be informed about the situation. These uh, these that guys are pretty vicious. chill. I gotta I appreciate them. Give it the chance, and it'll rip your heads clean off. So make sure you beat it to the punch. Yes, ma'am. Why did I say that? <laughs> oh. I'm told that the target's been neutralized. The fuck do you mean told? I just killed it. Excellent. Work you were out there. were you just hanging around the corner? What the fuck do you mean you were just told? Something on your mind, trooper? Very well. Permission to speak granted. I'm in love with you. So you're not gonna tell them about us? No, but you best leave before I change my mind. Otherwise, I might just strap you to the back of a dragon. You say that like you have a, a dragon on standby so for whatever you need to enough. just send That's someone away. Name. Thank you for your support, Captain. Seventh Infantry, salute! This is awesome. This is so much fun. I love this. I love all these like little interactions. Mind telling us what you're doing? <laughs> Cut it out. That's gonna cost you two grand. Hey yo! You said you were scouting this village for book ideas, yeah? 
<laughs> if it's all right with you, we'd love to help. Got the perfect guy to serve as inspiration, too. What? <laughs> I love you, Red 13. You are perfect. I am? Goddamn right he is. That fire is his burning soul. <laughs> Excuse me? Um... Is she Princess a robot or some shit? What the fuck? <laughs> She's short circuiting. <laughs> what is this Just game for these are you people? Right? <laughs> Resolve, suffering, Odyssey. Odyssey, yes, see. These themes by taking pictures which embody them. I beseech you. In English, please. I can't wait to see your photos. They're sure to help me write a story like no other. I guess the whole mission is just getting model shots of uh, Nanaki, and you know that's not bad. Not a bad, uh, not a bad side quest. What is this feeling? It's as if my hand has become a conduit for the gods of prose. Like a god in human clothing. Uh, uh, oh my god! Nah, no, come on, not this again. This was just like back in Tears of the Kingdom, where it just went black screen, and all you heard was just these weird noises just coming from those NPCs. What was that? That detector ought to point you in the right direction. Just keep your wits about you. Give that worm my regards. I am now trying to find the Alaskan bull worm. Oh, found it. Oh god, fucking damn it. Oh my god, I'm playing against Vincent. <laughs> Man, this I, I I don't I don't even Do know this know guy that much, but I already like him. Seen. Know about the witch's card? I heard you might have it. As luck would have it, the card does happen to be in my possession. But it could be yours should you prove yourself worthy. First try, get fucked, vampire loser. It seems a transfer of ownership was in the cards after all. I suggest you proceed with caution, lest it consume you too. Hey, yo, fucking Jesus Christ, the okay. The situation is greater All right. than I feared. Fair point. Here, she'll guide you to the queen. The rest is in your hands. I see you successfully obtained the Emerald Witch. It revealed the location of the queen. Evidently, she resides within some ruins in the Gungaga region. The climax of this saga is nigh. Oh my god, I am almost done with this shit. Ugh. And of course she's in the Gungaga region. That area is fucking annoying to traverse. Someone as evil as the queen would uh, reside out there. All right, who are you, uh, queen of blood? Blood queen of cards? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, Cloud, it's you. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? Would prefer to have this conversation in private. You know, I should have suspected something about her. Her swag is too tough and her hair is too pink. Here it is. The source of everything. All I ever wanted was to be worth something. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Fear me. When I found her, I knew that I would never lose again. That I'd been chosen for something greater. I was blessed. What the fuck did Kratos say about shortcuts to knowledge? Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Is about a more interested in his Queen's Blood side quest than the uh, main it's game story? To me. This is really fun. I've tried not to for so long, but I, I can't. And we lost another one. All right, well, game over, everybody. Regina. Ah, uh, yes. I remember well this land, for it was once mine. Until that witch rallied the unwashed and put me to the sword. I don't know what to say, should have just taken the L. Well, little puppet, what do you say? A match against your queen. For you, human, have a blood debt to pay in full. I'm gonna be here for a while, am I? All right, all right, all right, let's fucking do this. God damn it, I'm fucked here. I gotta restart again. Fucking fuck me, man. Fuck this. Maybe if I switch some of my cards around, I'll get an advantage. I don't know.
45 minutes later. Please work, please. God is real, everybody. I'd be, I fucking beat it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that took so goddamn long. All right, uh, what do I win? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! Okay, shit. Uh, does that hurt Regina? Yeah, that probably fucking hurts. Cloud? You good? No. Oh, she is, is she? God fucking damn it. Can you fuck off, please? I just wanted to play a card game, for God's sakes. You know what? I should have Be stuck still. with Uno. Do it, fucking shooter! Gotcha! Use the card. Don't you dare! Game over. What the fuck? Ah! That was fucking goofy and cringy as shit. 10 out of 10, that was amazing. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet. Either way, thank you, Thirst Trap Vampire Bro. All right, now that I got all the fun stuff out of the way, let's uh get to the end game. All right, let's see if I can finish this game today. Should split up to look for Dio. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? No. Nope. Oh, hey Cloud. Got oh, hey, it's the little kid who got scammed by that old man. <laughs> oh, cool. We unlocked the Chocobo Racing mini game, and this is one of the most fun mini games in this entire like game. But I've already done so much. I really, really don't want to do this right now. I got, I just want to finish the game off. Which is what I would say if I was a loser. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives... What happened to you? He got into a really rough tussle with a Japanese I teenager. A Painful discovery. I go Betty by now. Good night. You all right there? How's it going? What's it? Huh? Oh my god, Aerith, no! Don't do it! Don't do the Omni-Man! Don't do the Omni-Man on this poor little robotic cat! Oh god, no! I don't want to do another Zack section! Please! Please! I don't want to do another Zack section! Oh, thank god. It was just a nightmare. We're all good. We're okay. Motherfucker! Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What, what the Why? fuck is wrong with this kid? You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? When she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Oh yeah, Sephiroth. Cloud tries to save her, but she doesn't <laughs> make it I haven't even finished the goddamn game, she and she's fucking does. spoiling the story for me. It. Fuck you, Marlene. What the fuck is she wrong with her life? So that Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? His hair was long. And gray. Oh, shit. It might be Sephiroth. Of all the people. Yay. Hopefully that was the last one. It probably wasn't. Another grand date with Tifa? Oh man, I was hoping to be Tifa. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I love you. I love you, Aerith. You Don't get it wrong, but I mean, come on. I, I went on the date with no, Tifa last time, and we didn't go get to go on the start. Ferris wheel. I figured I would be well, able to give her that much, but uh, I mean, whatever. Go. Whatever, well, I'll play along. All right, this is a date deal breaker. Do you like Bionicles? Come on. Your Thank you. Wait, is this a VR play? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? That's that's kind of weird. Creative, cool, but I, I don't know how that would work.
All right, that play was actually pretty cool. She was a star. Oh my fucking god, this feels like something Disneyland is gonna implement into the future. Like, this literally feels like something Disneyland would do. Release me! My plague thirsts for vengeance! Alfred! Are you unharmed? Rosa! How did you find me? <laughs> Bitch, that's not an answer! How the fuck did you find me? I! By the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my blade. God, this is fucking cringe. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. Alright, uh, when did this turn into a gotcha game? And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Stand before your soulmate, and let the world know your heart. Oh, well that's an easy choice. Get over here, Barrett, you sexy motherfucker. Hey, yo! My love, are you kidding me right Wow, that was a crazy fight. Sucks I didn't record it. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? Air's voice acting is so funny, dude. I can listen to it all day. Damn, that song was fucking incredible. What? What? Are you ready to ride? You betcha. I mean, like, again, I was hoping it'd be Tifa, but I mean, shit. We'll work with what we got. And Eris is cool. She's a cool dude. Go. Go, you introverted motherfucker. Make a move. Yeah, that's, that's what I fucking thought. That's what I thought. Bitch boy. I'm just kidding. She's probably, like, incredibly traumatized. I love space invaders. Bro, that shit's AI, that's not gonna hit you. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, I get it, I get it. This is sad. She's she's gonna die at the end anyway, so it's like this love that is never ever gonna go anywhere. And also the fact that Cloud reminds Aerith of hey, Zack, even though Zack is no longer here. It's like, it's supposed to be a big range of emotions. Like, she fits here in this scenario. She really does. This is insane. Look, dumbass. Chocobo racing's nothing like that. That right, Mr. Smarty Pants? <laughs> you surprised me at first. You were just like him. And whenever I looked at you, I saw him. But you're not him. Oh man, no man. You're not him. You're not but you're not him. him. Aw. That's adorable. This is cute. Okay, it got me. Just till the ride's over. Man, god damn it, man. I know what's gonna happen already, but god damn, this just, this just makes it, this just hurts. It's just hurting. You're hurting me. Overall, that was a really nice date. Okay, now I want to see Tifa's. <laughs> What the fuck? Who is this? This must be kind of crazy. What the fuck? Oh, oh, it's the fat bastard who tried to fuck Cloud. What the fuck? This is kind of hard. That was one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. One of these days, we're gonna come on here and talk about the epitome, the pinnacle of that goat raw fire peak, you know what I mean? Now, who wants to be the first lucky lady? I'm gonna fuck you up, you stupid, fat, perverted fuck. All right, Aerith, let's go. Oh shit, Aerith, Aerith, I'm coming. Fuck, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shit! They 
jumping me! They jumping me! Suck a dick, dumb shit. Hey. We cutting them off? Oh, I mean, deserved. Or should we rip them off? That too. That or smash them, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> boy. Let's fill them with lead. Do it. Turn that bitch into Alex Murphy. We did it. We won. Of course we did. Ah, uh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what now? Uh, of course, of course, of course. The fucking Turks. Shame on you. Eris, I guess you could say that was pretty, uh, rude of him. Shut the fuck up! And there he goes. Yep, I, I actually kind of, I kind of knew he was still on Shinra's side. I mean, he was built by Shinra, so it's like, it's in his, it's in his programming in a way. It's like whatever. He's strange, but you can trust him. We trust you. We trust you. You're gonna regret that. A grudge match then, over which I must insist you allow me to officiate. Wait, oh no fucking way. They got the golden saucer workers bringing in benches and potion shops. What level of meta is this type of joke? It's like Fall New Vegas rules. You sleep on a bed for an hour and you heal all your bones and remove all of the radiation from your body. Can these two fuck off already? Well done. That was nothing. I'm gonna fucking kill this bitch. And that's how I broke every bone in my body over summer vacation. God, dude, what now? I'm supposed to be chasing a robot cat right now. Motherfucker! I, I hated fighting him in the first game. I hate. He was tough as shit. I hate fighting Rufus. I hate him. I hate him so much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, I buried him! Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Literally, literally, I, I, I can't fucking hit him. I can't hit him. It doesn't want me to hit him. I swear, you were better when you were in the fucking wheelchair. Oh man, I, uh... I had to retry that boss fight. That was getting really fucking hard. Enough of this farce. Bro, you are not playing Ultra Kill. We find Kate Sith, right? Right. I don't know. I still kind of like Kate Sith, though. I, I I think he doesn't have bad intentions, but this is still kind of fucked up. Got it. Man, come on, Kate Sith. I was ruined for you. Come on, you have a Scottish accent. I thought that was enough to trust you. Cat, the company man with a heart of gold. Huh? What a joke. Hey, don't do it, Barrett. It's genuinely not worth it because there's multiple of him, so you can't he can't really die, technically, so not really worth it. Knew from the start that had to end this way, but it still stings. For a moment there, it felt like we were friends. Damn, dude. See, like, there's something going on here. Because, like, Kate Sith is such a sweet dude. So, like, what the hell, man? What the fuck? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. Hell yeah, we are finally entering the end of the game. God damn, I am like, I think, 70, 80 hours in. Jesus, I feel like I've gone on a whole adventure along with them. It's settled then. We follow Shinra to the temple. And the black materia will be ours. The fuck are you looking at your hand for? Ah, whatever, I don't care. Anyways, yeah, to the end of the game! What do you want? Cloud, incoming transmission from KG. One moment. Hey, hey. Is your oh, I forgot about him. Oh, no. I just want to go to the end of the game. If you're still interested in collecting all those treasure pieces, then head
head on over to the third reactor. Hope to see you again soon. Hope to see you again soon. God damn it, man. Can you shut up? Either way, I, I gotta do this side quest because I need to get all the proto relics so I could like finish off this Gilgamesh side quest. Maybe not all of those proto relic side quests are amazing, but they are really fun. And I really do like Gilgamesh's character a lot. He's like really freaking funny. So yeah, before we finish off the main story, let's finish this off first. God damn it, can this fat fuck me. just die already? Okay, one more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. I fucking love you, Nanaki. Oh hey, Chad Lee too. God, this game is so silly. I love it. Oh, cool. I love Spider-Man 3 or Spider-Man 2, depending on either if it's the game or movie. I am almost done with this Gil 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 Gilgamesh side quest. What now? Thus, in the name of Genji, I issue one final challenge! Face me, the true bladesman of legend, Gilgamesh! We shall duel on the isle I call home! Yeah, sure, okay. I eagerly await the day our blades cross. The day I reclaim what is mine. <laughs> At this point, can he become a companion? Can he join the team? He is fucking awesome. Truly excellent work, Cloud. I've detected the sudden emergence of an unknown landmass. Who knows what data you'll collect once you make landfall? Oh! I'm detecting an uncontrollable pounding in my chest! <laughs> Cloud! <laughs> Jesus, chill the fuck out, little dude. Good fucking lord, it's all the way over there. This is a big map. This opened- this game has been opening up every single chapter. It's crazy. Got him. They're headed for the northern continent. They've mobilized the Turks and the military. Hope you're ready for a fight. I'm definitely going to do this treasure hunt quest later because I've done so many side quests, I'm kind of burnt out by them. So let's go fight Gilgamesh and finish up this part of the story. Whoa. Oh, this, this looks, this looks fucking amazing, dude. This game looks awesome. This game, this game looks amazing. Oh, how I have longed for this moment. Ever since they left my care, I have been counting the minutes until their return. Can someone explain to me why he keeps hopping on one foot? He looks so silly. Yes, you rogues. Tis I, the Genji's chosen keeper. And I demand you relinquish them forthwith. Nope. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Can I just get a whole game where I just have to follow him around and... <laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Huh? I stole those fair and square. What? But, uh, <laughs> Even he oh. looks confused why they're surrounding him. My shining beacons of martial prowess, blemished and begrimed and befouled. Oh. How could you be so utterly remiss in their care? He's literally complaining about the fact that we, we scuffed up like his that. clothes. Says the knave who stole them first. Now he's got Did a point. But at the same time, you shouldn't have lost them. That's your and fault still. <laughs> your task is to travel round in search of ritual shrines. And at each, reforge the Genji in the fires of battle. Now, go forth and fight. Hasten their magnificent rebirth. Alrighty then. You got it. It's a it's a pull door. Pull it. You're supposed to pull it open. Or just fucking jump. All right, uh, I guess we're not done yet. We still got some more fighting to do. Do a short little one minute battle montage.
All right, all done. That was pretty easy. Well and truly fought, my brave warriors. Thank you, Giga Chad, Gilga, Giga Mesh. For your efforts, I grant you a boon. Entry to my private garden. Now this is cool. Picked up in a billionaire's private jet to check out his brand new hotel before anybody else. I don't know why, but this this feels like I'm walking into a Sekiro boss fight. Oh god, he's gonna read poetry to us. Wandering far and wide, my sleep broken only by clamorous silence. Floating like a butterfly, as transient as the winds. My soul pale and wan, bereft of Genji's splendor, I begin to fade. Alright, Gigamesh, Until where is this going? Very... But hope springs anew. For the Genji is made whole, perfect and sublime. So for Gilgamesh, it's more than time! What? What? Are you a Power Ranger? It's more than time! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Gilgamesh! Did he do it the fuck? No, no, no! He just referenced Power Rangers. What the fuck? Who is this guy? I want him as my best friend. My memories are restored, but I dare not tarry here. My nemesis and I have a score to settle. Fare thee well. Okay, see ya, buddy. Hey, <laughs> what the hell are Jump, liver. Oh my... F <laughs> that, that fucking rock! <laughs> For but one bladesman. There can be only one. Here and now, I will have that buster sword. No. Come and fucking take it. You look like one of my throwaway Elden Ring characters. Show me what you got! Ow, that hurt. Feast your eyes and prepare to be stupefied by my sword. Hey, good try, man, but I played second row. I was holy blade to your eyes, me and it. <laughs> you missed. This is not my Excalibur. This is but Excalibur. What <laughs> this dude is a clown. He is just a jokester. Nothing personal. I will see you. Oh. Oh. Woo! That took like ten or so minutes or more. But that was so much fun, holy shit. You are a most formidable foe. This realm's Bladesman of Legend. Bladesman of Legend, huh? Thanks, but I don't deserve the title. Not yet. Hmm. Not until you have defeated your rival, I presume. Then your claim to my treasures is forfeit. You must best this rival of yours if you are to prove yourself worthy. And when you have, you will face me again. Please let him be in the third game because, oh my god, this is like my favorite well, character in all of Rebirth so far. It is time I saw to their undoing. Uh... Is something supposed to happen? Is bro lost? You, uh, forget the way back? Huh. One as well traveled as I forget? Never! Stop the cap! Countless are the realms which I have explored. Crossing the void is but a trifle. He forgot where to go. Whoa. Oh, hey, look it. The little oh, autistic somewhat. kid is back. Utilizing the data I have acquired, I can extrapolate points of convergence. Temporal rift located. Look, there it is. Aha! And now to leave it open. Why does that look like the Fortnite Rift? Oh god, don't tell me he's going to fight there. It's time I took my leave of you and your world. May we meet again upon the field of battle. Should the fates allow, I shall pray for it. This game is already, like, on the top of my list for my favorite games this year, just because of, like, this whole Gilgamesh side quest thing. 
It's it was so fun. Prepare yourselves, warriors of light. Quite a character, isn't he? You could That's say that again, Chadward. And so, this marks the end of our quest for the proto relics. Nevertheless, our journey is far from over. The world is still teeming with secrets. I trust you're as eager to continue as I am, Cloud. <laughs> you're quite a character yourself, Chadley. Again, I want to ask, why do people hate Chadley? Why? Why do they hate? Why do they hate him? He's he's cool to me. Chadley has added brutal and legendary challenges to the combat simulator. Conquer the legendary trials to unlock battles in which you fight alongside Sephiroth and Zack, as well as their respective training courses. That's nuts. I'm not gonna do them because I really do not- I'm not that good at the combat, I'm not. Trust me, there is a lot of combat that I have skipped over that does not look good, that makes me look like I suck at video games in general. Like, I cannot play Aerith for shit, so... I'm not gonna play hard mode. I cannot touch it. Oh well, I got the Gilgamesh materia, so you know we won. Gonna catch me and that's why I don't put keystones in random holes. Whoa, what the fuck? That transition from gameplay to like real-time cutscene—that uh, is, that was nuts. This game is impressive, like visually and stuff like that. It looks dope. There's so much, so much tension. Yeah, I know, Aerith. I got a funny feeling that something bad is gonna happen very soon. Gonna catch me rotten dirty. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Oh, no. This isn't the promised land. I mean, just look around. It can't be. You're right, Aerith. This place needs a Costco. <laughs> oh, hey, wait, is that Roche? Probably not. Probably just another blonde, long haired white guy. Oh, speaking of uh, long haired white guys. How many times has the name Sephiroth been said in this game? <laughs> Look at these stairs. I guess the person designing this temple was a fan of MC Escher. Whoa, my goodness. Labyrinth is right. This is insane to look at already. Look at it! Look at it! What does this do, Hickey do? Ah, I can change which way is up or down and which way to go around. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. I like this last section of the game. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Do do shabu. Life could be a dream. We just get turned upside down? The blood. I can almost smell it. <laughs> I smell blood, Thorfinn. Hey, last sword of the game. Cool, 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 cool. I should have waited till this game came out on PC so that I could turn a bunch of these weapons into like Devil May Cry weapons like the Rebellion. I like to think that if Dante was in Final Fantasy VII, he would take one look at Sephiroth and just go, VIRGIL! When did you grow your hair out? Bye-bye! <laughs> that looks like fun. Yes, I'm fucking terrified. I'm seeing ghosts. Nine out of ten gameplay. Scratch that, everybody. I'm having fun again. Okay, enough fooling around. I am actually having fun with the temple section so far. It is kind of slow at points, but it is actually very creative in ways of like getting around and like finding these secret pathways and finding all these secret items. It's it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Oh my fucking god. Even in the thousand year old temples, there's a bench and the skill tree vending machines. I am... Uh, okay, who is the architect for this place? Did they know that someone like Cloud was gonna show up here and like use these vending machines to like unlock new skills? What type of, what type of shit is this? Oh uh, yeah, this, this is a boss room. This is a boss room. <laughs> Ah, well, come down from there, boy. I can't fight you while you're up there. Oh, never mind. He has anti-gravity magic. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, it's just like the Dagon Gar fight from Jedi Survivor. Tantalor is mine, motherfucker! Oh, that timing was so good. <laughs> I'm getting good at this game. Come on, Cloud. Finish it off with something cool as shit. She might just have the most powerful kick ever. Nice. What the what the actual hell? That kick oh, killed that a dragon. I think the live stream's angry. Hey, Aerith, do you think you could explain that we don't mean any harm? I think it's angry because know. you walked inside of its house. It's probably just trying to tell you. Hey, get, get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of my, my house. house. It's, it's too, too loud, loud in here. here. Hell yeah, split it up into two groups. Let's scooby doo this shit. We're going after him, right? The materia is our priority. We have to get to it first. God, Cloud should have never come here, dude. He literally is just like the closer he gets to the center, the more of a slave he becomes to Genova and just cannot think about his friends. He's only become a slave to giving the black materia to Sephiroth, and that's scary. So long. <laughs> oh shit. Dude's helmet kinda looks like Ultraman's. I don't wanna die. Please! It's not death. It's a homecoming. What did you say? Good fucking lord! It's a homecoming, he says. Jesus Christ, he's fucking lost it. Okay. What a very green pool. What's this? Uh, you ever been to Chicago during uh, St. Patrick's Day? I think they're gonna teach me how to be at one with the life stream, attuned to its flow. Hey, don't you worry, Aerith. You'll be one with the life stream soon enough. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll stop making that joke. Can't touch this. Bow, no, 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 no. Can't touch this. Bow, no, 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 no. It's them. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Sorry, we almost crushed you with a bunch of rocks. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a that's a wicked ass transition. Several hours prior. How long have we been in this temple? I am almost 100 hours into this game and I just figured out how to turn Aerith into a really good combat unit. Look at this shit. Look at, look at all those hits. I could have been doing this the whole time, but no, I just had to play stupid and dance around and throw little magic balls at little enemies. Don't, come on. You chickens. Sir, it's time we made a stand. That got her. Now She's reacting talking. hard to that like Marty McFly. Don't. Come on. What's wrong, McFly? Chicken? Nobody calls me. Here we go. You're not getting past me. I'm a Turk. God damn it. See, that shit was not several hours later. That took like 30 to 40 minutes to catch up, you goddamn liars. Oh my god, he's gonna execute them. Do you have any personality left within you, Cloud? Are you just a vessel? Are you just a shell? Are you nothing more than a weapon now? At this point, do we need to kill you? It's not death. Yeah, 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 I get it. It's, it's a homecoming, homecoming, but what does that have to do with anything? I'm not in high school anymore. I'm 25 years old. Dude, those eyes. Cloud is gone, man. I don't think he's gonna be back for a little There's while. No it's not a temple. It's a fortress. To defend against what, though? Fiends? Worse. <laughs> oh, well, that sucks. Sorry, dude. Uh, you know, Sephiroth is being the asshole that he is, wanting to kill everybody. It's not death. It's a homecoming. God damn, man. Everybody's dropping like flies as we're getting near the end of the game. Like, who else is not gonna make it? Rolling out the red I guess everyone's got their own personal labyrinth Sora, or trial to go through. We're each I guess you get to sit this one out. I bet you right now, in this moment, Cloud does not have a soul. Literally, that's not a joke. He does not have a soul within him, so he is just walking around as an empty husk. And of course he's not going to get a trial because the temple can't read him as a person. So he's just there. See you on the other side. 
Is Cloud gonna die at the end of this, uh, you know, whole remake trilogy? Well, anyways, let's go through these trials. I bet they're not that bad. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, we got animal abuse. Oh, go, oh, Hojo. Okay, uh, fuck you, you fucking asshole. I got to break free! I got to break free from these chains! Oh, god damn it. Oh, fuck. The, t the controller's gonna get me, gonna get me killed. I want him dead and buried! Alright, well that was traumatizing. Uh, what else you got for me, game? Cloud? Oh, okay. She's gotta relive her dad dying. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be traumatizing. I'm sick of all of this! I think we saw that death like twice before already, so... It, I, you know, I kinda already get what was gonna happen, and... She kinda sounded annoyed from that voice line. Like, I'm sick of all of this! That was the third time I had to see my dad die! Also, if this is what I think it is, then I have to have a word with Square Enix, because I'm pretty sure they said, um, you know, people didn't need to play Remake or Intermission to understand the story of Rebirth. And this is literally from Yuffie's story in the Intermission DLC. So they were lying to you. You need to play the remake plus the Intermission DLC to get the full story, cause my God, if you're playing Rebirth and you get to this point, you're gonna not know what the hell is going on. Boss. <laughs> Oh god, that is that is fucked up. My god, man, that is come on, have some decency. Alright, how much more we got? We got Barrett and I think we got Aerith, and I think we're good. This one might get to me. I really do love Barrett's character and I don't know, his backstory might be pretty heartbreaking, considering what the hell who the hell he is and how he feels about life. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Hey, you're about to make me cry, aren't you, game? What's wrong, baby? You okay? Man, she seems like the sweetest person ever. I get why Barrett got so angry and sad and just depressed, dude. I would too! I would too, my goodness. And it's our, it's gonna get worse from here because this is a memory, so it's just gonna get more traumatizing. To the man who's voicing Barrett, you deserve all the awards, man. I'm it, this shit is emotional. Okay, now we're at the last one. This is probably gonna hurt the most, honestly, actually, because Aerith, Aerith is just a poor little trauma baby. And there she is, Aerith's mama. It's going to be okay. Okay. No, it is not. I hate to break it to you. No, it is not. Mom, I'm sorry, sweetie. Spoiling our adventure. Go on. What is a Fuck you, Nomura. Don't fucking do this to me! <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck, man? Can you help me? My mom is sick. Bitch, I need medicine! My mom's really sick. Can't you find somewhere else to beg? Bro, fuck this, man. This is just as sad as the equivalent of the freaking quick time event where Kratos has to push his daughter away. I don't- uh... <laughs> My mom is sick. Okay, well, she just repeated the voice line. <laughs> okay, that, that kind of made me laugh a little. My mom is sick. Okay, I'm not crying as much anymore. Now I'm just confused. Uh, and stay down, brat. What? What the fuck is wrong with people? My god. That's, that's a little girl, dude. Why are you being so mean? Miss? Do you need help? Please take her somewhere safe. <laughs> okay, okay, game, you got me. Damn it. Hey, good as fuck. Ah! Okay, let's let's wrap the sadness train up. I want to get back to Cloud and just fight crazy funny enemies. If you think about it, life and death are just two sides of the same coin. Our bodies may disappear when we die, but our spirits still live on. I get it. I really do. Knowing that the people we love aren't really gone, it doesn't make it any easier to let them go. 
God, I love this. I love this little speech right here. Aerith is, like, probably my favorite character of this game. Next to, like, Barret, really. So focus on the future, not the past. Do that. And not even Sephiroth will be able to stand in our way. Are you finished? You shut the fuck up, you stupid white boy! You let her fucking speak, you stupid, worthless vessel! At this point, go jump in the water and drown! Oh, what fun you had. Tell me, though. Was it worth it? No, I didn't like pushing the boxes, hunting the chocobos, or vacuuming. Those parts kind of sucked. Good, Cloud. Very good. Fill your hollow heart with rage. Whatever you say, Darth Vader. Let it engulf you, consume you, that you may burn your world to the ground, as I did. May chaos take the world! I'm not like him. I'll never be like him. No, dude, you're not like him. You're not anybody right now. You can't, you're not even yourself. You're literally a puppet. It's okay. So, you know, just goddamn. Oh, shit. Lord of the Rings reference. Alright, you stupid blonde fucker, go get the black ball and give it to Sephiroth or whatever, you know, just, you know, fulfill your destiny at being a stupid puppet. <gasps> Dead space! Dead space! Alright, come on, man. Have you not seen the first Indiana Jones movie? That's like rule number one when it comes to, like, taking weird items off of pedestals. I knew this freaking robotic cat was coming back. I, I knew, I knew he was a true friend. Let go. You first. God damn it, Cloud! Can you fuck off? I hate you. I hate you so much. No, you're trying to fool me. You're a stupid, brainless brat. I'm back, just in the nick of time. Ah uh, well, you, you you held it on for a pretty long time. I gotta give credit to that. Oh uh, well, we'll see we'll see you in a second, Kate. Of course, bro can't let go of his stupid black marble. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. Stupid little fucking brat. Oh Jesus, goddamn Christ. Give it back. Whoa. Ha! He turned on creative mode. No, Sephiroth. I need someone who played this game to basically tally up all the times Sephiroth's name was said in this game. Because I bet it was said over like a hundred times. I'm waiting. Wow. Yeah, sure, I'm coming. Hold on. Sorry that took a minute, Sephiroth. The game was slowing me down. Anyways, what you need? Yes, my king cake Sephiroth! Ooh, yes! Wait, did he say bring it to me? Like... Uh, wait, wait, but you gave it to me! What do you mean? I'm just giving it back to- What? What, what was that exchange? Cloud! Snap out of it! Look, bro, I get it. You're fucking brainwashed. But get over yourself, okay? It's just a marble. And Sephiroth is dead anyways. Oh my god! Is this cloud gonna stop being a fucking idiot? Look, 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 look what the fuck you're doing, stupid! Hey, I just want to remind you guys, um, Sephiroth is behind you, you gave him the Black Materia, he basically is gonna kill you now, so, yeah, you kind of fucked yourself over, Cloud. Chapter 14, End of the World. Wow. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. I did not expect that to happen. I thought chapter 13 was the last one. Here we are back with puppy boy Zack. Uh, gonna try and find Biggs. Uh, Biggs, I think, is gonna commit another uh, act of terrorism. So, you know, uh, just per usual out here in uh, Midgar. Hello. I know you're in there. Oh, what? Excuse me? Wait. 
Are we in the other world that we've been transferring over to every time we play as Zack? This is about to get really confusing, isn't it? Okay, uh, my thinking cap is on. Let's try our best to understand what the hell is going to happen in the next two hours. Let's take a walk, okay? Ah, one thing. You have to promise not to look up. Oh, shit. Hey, oh my god. Have you guys ever seen Futurama, uh, Bender's Big Score? At the very end of the movie, he basically goes throughout time so many times that it creates this oh. whole rift in space, <laughs> and it looks pretty much hey, like that. So, I'm just gonna say, on. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth may have gotten some inspiration uh, from Futurama. Don't quote me on that, though. Right now, I really don't know where the story is going. All I know is that Aerith and Cloud are on this very cute date, and they're just hanging out, and we're picking candies, jewelries, and taking photos. It's like, we're having a really good time over here, but uh, at the moment, Zack is actually going through something right now, so how's he doing? How's Zack doing it with all, with all this going on? Oh, hey, he uh, caught up to Biggs. I, uh, I, I'm really confused. I thought he was going to help out with, uh, Cloud. What is happening what in this narrative right now? See, this is why I was scared. I am very confused on which path I'm supposed to follow. <laughs> oh my god, that explosive was weak! That, you are off your game, Biggs. Wow, my goodness, that's, that's sad. That that's really sad. I'm sorry, dude. What am I still doing here? Why did I have to survive? Hey, come on, man. You got a lot to live for. Like, look, I'm pretty sure you got a whole life ahead of you now. There's a reason you survived, okay? This is not the end of your story. Fuck! What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, the fuck are you doing? See you never! Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> Clever, clever, no, yeah, don't die yet, okay? Seriously, uh, okay. What is happening? What is going on? I gotta stop asking this question because I don't think I'm gonna get any answers. Hey, why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. <laughs> oh, okay, um. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Oh, it's gonna be in a little bit. And we got Zack over here, Cloud. confused as fuck. Honestly, he's probably the only character I relate to right now because he's just as confused as everybody else. Oh, and look who else is here. I I'm not even gonna say his name because someone else is already gonna say it for me. Sephiroth. Yep, there we go. God, this is the wildest ending to a video game I've ever seen because they're, it's like they're purposefully stalling it, the right? moment because you Our know what's going to happen, but they're writing Finger. a story in a way to make it seem like, easy. oh, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Is time going to shift it away where it doesn't happen, but then it does in another universe? Well, like, whoa, to give me a I am next going time. a little bit too far. Am well, I, I, I don't know. Was this Numora, Numora's plan all along? Yeah. Whatever happens, don't blame yourself. Blame Nomura. So thank you, Cloud, for everything. What is this? <laughs> it's been fun. Eric! See you in a little bit when the, that moment eventually happens. <laughs> Okay, so for a big portion of this section of the game, I don't really say anything, mainly because I was focused on the story and stuff. But to summarize, what I saw was Cloud going through hyperspace while also seeing every reality while Sephiroth spouts bullshit as always. And then we end up in some spiritual woods area and the game, yet again, is making me do another stupid fucking crawling section. But it has this symbolic visual telling us, the player, and Cloud that Aerith is going to die and we just have to let it go and accept this tragic fate. But of course, this poor boy can't so we run to the city of ancients and walk the stairs of inevitability also we got confirmation that cloud might be turned into one of those like black hooded freaks eventually in the future so yeah that's gonna happen finally in the end game okay this is the point of no return everybody also i'm sorry to say this but the funniest thing to me about this game is the way they handle their checkpoints the game designers couldn't have taken some creative liberties to add some new type of way to like sit down or a new way to inherit skills in the setra temple this place is supposed to be a thousand years old and it's supposed to have like all of this like history and mystery behind it and all they used for the checkpoint was the bench and vending machine option it's not a complaint at all i just think it looks really silly and honestly it makes me enjoy the game a little more anyways yeah that's what's been happening so far but anyways do it cloud fucking do it you nutty psychotic killer kill your best friend
Oh shit, are they gonna go through with it? Are they not gonna go through with it? Come on, come on! Be the deciding factor, Cloud! Nice job, you successfully parried him. All right, uh, is everything all good? We, we chilling? We good? Air still alive, right? Uh, hmm? What the fuck? All right, buddy, explain yourself. Strike that. Reverse it. Air it. All right, so, I mean, we already know that there's, like, other timelines and stuff in other universes, I guess. So what we saw was, I guess, a branching point where basically Cloud <laughs> saved Aerith, but she's not in this normal, the original world where she basically dies. I don't know, I'm just speculating here. Again, I don't know what the hell they're trying to come up with with the story, but it, it's interesting. I'm interested. <laughs> I'll kill you! However, you'll never see the truth with such clouded eyes. Shut up! Oh, I get it. Is that why his name is Cloud? <laughs> Sorry, terrible joke. After all, you're just a puppet. Am I a puppet? Oh my fucking god, what type of eldritch cosmic horror is that? Genova Life Clinger. Yeah, it looks like it's clinging on the life pretty badly. I need to put it out of its misery. Oh, that's such a clever way to switch characters, because I've always thought to myself, you have all these different characters to play with and to mess around with in terms of combat style, and you only can have three of them at a time in certain fights. So I thought to myself on like how you would incorporate to play with all these different characters in one single fight, and I think this is how you do it. This is so damn cool. Hey, welcome back, buddy. How you been um, running through um, the white void? <laughs> White, as far as the eye can see. Hey, anybody there? <laughs> oh fuck, Zach, do you hear that? Zach, do you hear that? We gotta go now! Sir, excuse me, English or Spanish? Uh, English. Whoever moves first is gay. Baby, you got something in your nose. So, I hear you've been pretty busy. Up, oh, Zach, you weren't supposed to do that. Now you ripped apart the fabric of all realities. Well, you gotta find a way to put it back together again. No Zach. fucking way. What the fuck? What the hell? What do you mean? Uh, what is going on? What is happening? What do you mean Cloud and Zach are together again? This makes no sense. Sephiroth. See, I'm kind of freaking out right now, even though I never actually finished Crisis Core and I never actually played the original Final Fantasy VII. But this this looks pretty freaking badass. This is this is hard as fuck. Hell yeah, I get to play as Zack against Sephiroth. Okay, okay, okay. Watch out, Sephi. You, you need to chill out. Okay, just give me give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me give me a minute. Please, please. Fuck. I suck so much at this combat. I should just go back to Elden Ring. Get up. Let me get up. Let me get up. Let me get up. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Ah, well that sucks. I wanted to play with Zack more. This, this duo is really cool. I like them. I like these two together. But I guess we'll have to wait for the third game. Okay, no more. I'll, I'll see what you're trying to cook up. Alone at last. Oh, okay. I see why you got rid of Zack now. Fucking white-haired slut. <laughs> Good to see you. Twink. Don't care how big you get. I'm not backing down. I'm finishing this. Cloud, this is technically part two out of a trilogy of games. You really think you're gonna kill Sephiroth here? There's no chance. Y you ain't got the sauce, man. And with me behind the controller? Oh, we're not finishing this shit whatsoever. <laughs> I suck ass. He's on now. Very engaging fight so far. I was just smacking the bottom uh, bum part. Damn it. 
Oh, Jesus, there's so much fighting in this final chapter. Hey, we're back with Zack. You know what's funny? Now I'm actually curious on what's going to happen with Zack because now that we're at the end of the game, his story has just now gotten more interesting. So I'm, I'm very curious on what the heck is happening. Okay, what the fuck is happening? What in the hell is going on? That's what I'm saying! Okay, and I guess everyone, since they're separated in different planes of reality, we're all finding our own separate versions of, like, Sephiroth slash Genova variants. Embrace your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier. That was pretty cool. Those two are connected at the hip. My goodness. See, I'm picking up on the story little by little. Oh God, please, are we done with the fighting? I want this, I want to end this game, dude. I like the story, but my God, I feel like this final fight has been dragged out for a little bit. What else can I beat up? Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. <laughs> I think you're just gonna come back in some way. God damn, holy shit. Let's end this together. Good, this playthrough has gone over like 85 hours at this point. Come at me, bitch. Oh shit! One wing angel! <laughs> okay. Take me later. This ain't over. God, this is so good, man. I was looking forward to the Sephiroth final boss fight because I knew it was gonna happen, but this is like so much better than the last game because it's just more personal. It's on a flat battlefield and all you got is Aerith. It's just so dope, dude. I've been a fan of Sephiroth for a long time, even though I've never actually played Final Fantasy VII. He's just, he's just one of the coolest characters I've ever seen. Oh, you fucking bitch! Oh what? You're done? Already? Pussy? I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. Alright, we're back in our reality, and uh, Aerith is dead, of course. Um, rest in peace, girl. Sorry about it. Uh, you know, shit happens. Aerith. Wake up. Okay, well, I mean, she's she's dead, but she's not dead as well, because, I mean, he's looking into another reality, I guess, where she's at, and in this one, she got stabbed by Sephiroth. I still am confused, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna put that to the back of my mind for now. Oh, are we, uh... Did we just skip over the scene where Cloud drops Aerith into the water. I remember seeing that scene a long time ago. That's the one other thing I know from the game. I was waiting for Cloud to just, you know, slowly let her down, be like, Rissa, why she wonder why she like me, bitch, I'm drowned. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Huh, wow, um, uh, what an adventure. I, uh, I don't know. Let's just see this ending cutscene. I'm very curious. What the hell, um, where, where is this gonna end off on? It's not fair. I never played the original. Does this happen? Like, does Aerith show up, but like, in a separate plane of reality where she can communicate, but they can't see her? Oh shit, Cloud has a Fushigi ball. It's here, it's wild, it's sweeping the nation, it's Fushigi! This is Fushigi, the magic gravity ball. No strings, no tricks. Magic, maybe, an illusion, you decide. You can make Fushigi defy gravity and appear to float in midair. The hell? Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, his love, his mind is gonna fucking be corrupted to shit with that in his hand. A reunion. Okay, yep, there he is. Yeah, he's just back to his normal degrading self. How great. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. That is such a cool effect. If that's how materia is added to weapons in this universe, that is the coolest shit. Hey, it says gullible on the ceiling. Don't look up. It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. 
He's hiding up north. Okay, so we're ending off the game with north. Cloud fucking tweaking out. Uh, great. Trust me. Cool. He is. Uh, this doesn't looking too good. Soldier's intuition. These two haven't been vocal about it, but I know they're stressing out mentally about Cloud because it's their best friend and he is just losing it. Goodbye. Wow. What a really beautiful send off. Oh, God damn it, Sid! All right, well, if you made it all the way to the very end of this massive video, uh, congratulations. You just wasted three and a half hours of your life. <laughs> Kidding, kind of. Anyways, the game is amazing and I love it so much. It's definitely not my game of the year. It's gonna go to Shadow of the Earth Tree because I mean, shit, that DLC is basically an entire second game of its own. Elden Ring also is just one of my favorite games of all time and the DLC just has to be my number one this year. But before that, it was FF7 Rebirth because it is a very well-made game despite the minor gripes I got with it. If I was going to give this a number rating, I'd say it's a pretty high 8 to like a low to medium 9. That's because of all the slow gameplay moments that killed the pacing, but those were few and far between. I will say, those vacuuming sections at the beginning almost made me pop a blood vessel. The game is still incredible though. I love the combat, even though I suck major ass at it. The story is pretty interesting, even though I don't really understand it fully. And when it comes to the characters, I had so much fun spending time with them, like I wish there were more moments with them. Barrett and Aerith especially are definitely the best written characters in my opinion of this game. I do like Tifa and Cloud's dynamic as well, and man, these two cannot ignore each other. Like, their feelings are so strong, they have to, like, you know, get together in the third game in some way. I mean, they were kind of together in Advent Children, but not really. They were kind of separated because of Cloud's trauma, but, you know, it, it happens. Hoy, but man, the whole plot point about other worlds and Aerith being dead, but also not really, is hard to get, but, I mean, hey, I'm open to whatever Nomura writes in his stories. For this whole game, we spent 30 to 40 hours doing missions that felt like in-depth characters character side quest. The second game basically puts the main story in the background while you get to know the characters directly through their actions, interests, and ideals. And by the way, the side quests can either be just weird fetch quests that gives you upgrade materials, or they can be lore-heavy missions that tell a lot about certain characters in the world. And these side quests got some pretty good writing in them, like you can't skip them over really. And by the way, even though I keep talking about how the story confuses me at times, it's still easier to understand than Kingdom Hearts lore. Say fellas, did somebody mention the door to dark? Darkness? Seriously, I still don't know if I want context for this scene. It just feels better without any. And I'll play Kingdom Hearts eventually. Just give me time. I still need to get past that weird English dialogue. Shield. Who else will I have ice cream? You owe me a piece. Anyways, best part of the game for me when it comes to side content was definitely Queen's Blood. I like how it's fully optional, like you don't have to engage with it at all except for like some story moments, but it's still one of the most interesting side quests of the game. Seriously, how did they make a simple little card game so fun and engaging and have really cool lore behind it? I never played Gwen from Witcher 3, but Queen's Blood is definitely my favorite in-game card game. This better make a comeback in part 3, I swear to God, Nomura. And one last thing, when it comes to the ending of this game, I don't really have any thoughts on it if I'm being honest. It's left pretty ambiguous on where the story is at right now, but I still thought it was interesting and it definitely doesn't change how much I enjoyed my time. I'm still very much hyped for the final game and what's cool is that I have genuinely no idea what happens next in the story. All I knew about the game was the death of Aerith and I didn't think there was much story after that point. I, of course, am very wrong since they need a whole game to tell the rest, but I'm hoping that I stay blind to the narrative until it comes out. Cause I want to be surprised on what happens because this story has been really engaging so far and I really can't wait for what comes next. Good luck to the game developers working on this project. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Just make sure not to add any vacuuming sections again, please. Please, do not add those again, I swear to god. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go now. You all take care. Bye bye. Whopper, 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 junior, double, triple, 